The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying to live. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two wrists. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. That mean I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What sound experience would you like to buy? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying to little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two wrists, they were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, 
Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Good evening, one and all. Welcome back to the ECAC Esports channel. We are here for the grand finals of Valorant. And who other than seeds one and two to come the distance? It's Wichita State University up against Ball State University, the Cardinals. And we're going all the way through in the best of five. Now, who's going to take you through it other than you? Me, myself, Captain of 3K, and the ever so stunning. Look at that man in his chain. It's Tristan Cass. Yeah, happy to be here. I am so happy about we, what we get in our grand finals. Seeds one and two, like you said. The bookies did a good job. I mean, what can we say? They predicted it perfectly. First, second seed, they're going to the finals. Wouldn't you like that kind of uh, that consistency in the NBA? Got it coming up this year. At the best of five, our first map, it's going to be Fracture. We move on to Breeze afterwards. Haven, Ascent, Icebox, Decider. This is the best you could ask for here. We just got to see Optic versus Loud in the Grand Finals. We had a great best of five there. It was kind of a nasty stomp. I can't lie. It was 3-0. NA on top, baby. And I hope for all those of you watching at home, with this rank act coming to an end, I hope you all got to end just where you wanted to this year. I hope you all been naughty or nice. And I can't wait to get into this one. Is it Christmas? Oh yeah, it's Christmas for all of you you Valorant fans out there. We get a nice best of five right after a nice best of five, right after NA gets on top, and we get the rank season ending. Come on now. I mean that that is and quite the nurse. treat. That's quite the treat. Well, yeah, well, hey, hey, come on now. Listen, Jet Nurse, it is us, Christmas. Some of us don't want to think about that, man. Come on, come on, me. Just hey, calm, calm down. I can't, Tristan. I can't talk too much. I'm a sober man. It's a, uh, it's rough out here, guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really can't ask for much better we get to see really high quality gameplay here the winner of this best of five series qualifies for LAN in atlanta so this is going to be a lot on the line here every team wants to win it so bad yeah they got that cecc bid coming through from the ecac side of things so one of these teams does get to go to that commissioner's cup in atlanta at that mm. gateway center arena but they got to win here first in order to do that Kristen. of course they get themselves a cute little trophy to go with it as well to hang up in the room boss has a beautiful facility they're going to love to have that one wichita state i don't believe they've got a trophy under their belt just yet so this could be that first chance for this team for this roster to go up to them head admin and say look look what we got look what we won and hey they've been winning everything all season coming through here tristan respectfully they They've been quite dominant. I will say they had a little bit of trouble in their first round here. They've already played three rounds to get into the finals in the first place. Wayne State, they saw themselves taking a 2-1. That was over the highest seed they played against. That was a 16 seed. So things looked a little concerning for a minute. They came back. They found it swinging. Got the results done. Boise State, they 2-0. That's another phenomenal supported program. Nailed it out the ballpark. James Madison 2-0'd them just in the semis to get here in the finals in the first place. But Ball State, they've 2-0'd everybody. It don't matter who you are, don't matter where you're from, doesn't matter who your mom is, they demolished everybody. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. I will say they had an easier run in the bracket, though, because they played higher seeds. So that's the advantage they're going to get going into this one. But you mentioned before, you're, we're starting off on Fracture, a map that has been interesting in the collegiate space. But against the top two seeds, Tristan, I think they're going to have a pretty good handle on how they're playing the map. Yeah, absolutely. And two O's all the way through. That's terrifying if you're going up against Ball State. And it's funny you should mention there uh, they have fantastic facilities. There's a, a direct correlation between how much these colleges are investing into their esports programs and how well they're doing in the tournaments. It's just yeah. you have the better support. You have the better system. It's going to make for better practice. It's going to make for better team cohesion. And already we see a complete team lock-in over here from BSU. That's going to be the chamber coming in on Fracture. It's almost a necessity at this point every it almost feels like every chamber you see locked in on fracture is destined to top frag 
Uh, and it's interesting. We're actually seeing the Neon Hover here from Wichita State taking a little page out of Optics book. Mm -hmm, the Victor Neon mm -hmm. has proven effective for so many games in the uh, in the Masters tournament. And the Breach comes out another classic, a staple pick at this point for the Fracture. I'm a firm believer that uh, why worry about the Util? We can run over it. So Jeem's going to have the opportunity to be a phenomenal entry. The prowess has been ridiculous. The race, the difference being that you get those satchels. You get, of course, your nade as well to try to do a little bit of damage to space out. Just a little bit more coming into the site. And it helps a lot on the defense, too, especially to make sure that early five-man pushes aren't getting through without the punishment of damage. But when you're on the attacking side, if you got the Neon on your roster, they're getting in. This quite oh, simply, yeah. they're getting in, they're getting the space. So I do like the call here from them to run that Neon, but it's up to if Jeem feels confident, the rest of the team can come through to trade it as well. And the Breach powerhouse been on the map the whole time. Originally, it started against that Killjoy. Killjoy's kind of slid her way around the map. As you mentioned, that team has become that must-pick player. So we haven't really seen the Breach get the same amount of value, but the Rolling Thunder is still incredible. It covers both sites almost to their full entirety. The Util is so strong, and it stops those pushes that we were just speaking about. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the, just the Rolling Thunder just covers so much of the sites. You can almost instantly take tower as soon as you get that Rolling Thunder in. As we get into this first round, the pistols are locked and loaded. Here we go. Jeem's already off to a quick start. He's just trying to rush up there. Let's get caught in his own team's fault line, though. He's going to be put to a slight halt. Doesn't exactly get the high tempo that Neon brings to the table just yet, but plenty of time in this round to work it out. They've already got Beaming under control. Slowly working up. Did proc a chamber trap as well. Toxic Green will move up and Ian's going to take the space. Let's know how close that fight with the, with Jeem's going to be and it won't matter if they back away. Is there to see the Neon playing on the complete opposite side of the, of the map? It will say if it's not entry prowess, it's quick rotations, right? That overdrive's still incredibly quick to make sure that Neon's going to be able to get away. You see them bait from space right now, and there you go. You see the door get opened. You see the Util get thrown. It's pulled two players away, and then Neon will be back for this execute. Very, very good pistol round early. Oh, nice stop from the chamber. Just able to teleport away. It's going to be one for one for now. Low HP, though, all around. Plant gets to go down. Everyone's in the area, but they're going to have a lot of Util for this retake. Just one blind left in the breach, though. That's crucial. Well, more so off-site than anything else, too. We'll come up towards Canteen early. Three, in fact, now to come with it. Guiding lights out early. No space taken just yet because there's no blind. The blind towards the tower that at least keeps in the site all alone to do all the work Ooh. right now. Nothing be found. Tian has that one. Gene is playing with the frenzy. He's found nothing either. J Corn making sure they come up empty. Cabot to trade one back now. That defuse, it's getting stuck. They got to swing through and they do now. They'll get their way through Arcade Troop and take one back. That's the diffuser stopped right now, but they get right back on it. The fault line will come through. It will not matter as Ian's there with the frenzy. We'll pick that one up off the recovered Neon's weapon. And 1 0 for Ball State going to be that pistol. Wichita State, they bring a nice strat to come early. That Neon baits for the presence. You see this? They get to come through Storm Tower. That chamber shot is huge to get them away to get that numbers advantage a little bit more into their favor before things get too awry. But they only have arcade side of things. They're not able to really hold on to that post plan. And if you can't hold on to the post plan, Ball State are able to run through on the retake, just trade each other out. Yeah, a little bit miscoordinated there. And it just felt like Tyson did not stand a chance. He got absolutely clotheslined yeah. by the entire team running through onto the site so see a few adjustments if they want to be able to hold on to those after the plant goes down but as for now we get a bonus dsu just posts up marshall absolutely deadly in these rounds especially in the hands of a chamber who can get a quick shot off and get back to safety now luckily for the side of wichita state they do have a ko that's a direct counter to chamber oftentimes it won't allow him that easy escape mm -hmm. if the knife hits Like the orb hunt earlier, the first orb will come under tunnel for that second outside of arcade. We see a lot of teams running that, especially in Collegiate on the eco. Your eco anyway, might as well get yourselves ult orbs for your trouble. And the trend has not stopped just yet. They've gone down, grabbed the first outside of B stairs. They've gone tunnel to grab the additional one outside arcade. And now they'll head over to satellite for their third, third orb of the round. I love that. I love that for this team. Doesn't really matter what else they get into this round, to be honest. They got the orbs, and that's the value. Did he see Tyson kind of sneak in there? It looks Season like now. it's going to be the answer. Is yes, Jay Corn was ready for that and waiting. It's going to be a free pickoff as for now. The rest of the four kind of just stuck. Thirty seconds left. Stuck on the uh, drop side of things. They do have alert though. Pizzasaurus covered completely though. There is no spot left unchecked, mm. and it's going to be Tien with a quick flick. 
that's going to make it a 3v5. The numbers are being whittled down. They'd be lucky to even get a single kill at this point, let alone a bomb plant. 14 seconds left on the round. They've got to get a drop. It's just not going to happen. That's a vicious crossfire to try and work your way through. J-Corn just sprays everyone down. It's going to be 2-0 to start off for Ball State. Have clean defense with those specters. I will say, uh, Wichita walks out that round with nine ult orbs. So they grab all four and they all die. So nine ult orbs out for them. Watch for that early on the attacking side. We know how much power the orbs can have. And we saw just before we sneak into these replays, Truman grabbed, has six orbs right now. So it was going to be looking at one kill this round. We'll give the Rolling Thunder away to the Breach. And we know how strong that can be. We talk about the fact that it covers pretty much the whole site. So around that, they do not win. They do not get econ damage on, but they get value in terms of their ultimates. And we'll see what that translates into later. Gene the Neon going to be looking to get an early stim beacon to come through as well. That site already gone. It's open. It's free. They have it. Oh yeah, just bulldozing their way onto it. Now Jeem, he's gonna actually get the first gunfight of the round. Oh, nice little sneaky Timing. spot there, but he just gets headshot anyways. A quick flick makes it a 5v4. Ian though, he is gonna be with the Frenzy. Upgrades the weapon as well. Can get away. Should have heard the rope slide there. Jeem gets a second, doubles up. That's so valuable. Information on the third as well. They know this brim, this breach is up in tower and Kaba wants this fight. The swing around the corner. He gets headshot, put down as well. 3v2 now, Ball State in the lead. Truman just sitting there with his rolling thunder. Mm, He's like ready that. for the bomb tap. He's going to be able to hit all three of them the moment they try and get on this one. How one. much time can he actually buy here with his teammate? The so utility from Viper is so well. nice. How much time do they actually have? They planted out in the open. One player is dead. Is there is there enough to actually defuse this now? Is there enough left in the tank? It's a 1v1. Breach v Breach. The headshot is there, but the time is not. It's going to be 2-1. to one. Everyone goes down to the end. It's a back-to-back -back ace. And there are no survivors. It's a clean round for both teams in terms of actual defensive utility to start that defuse on the retake, but also to hold on that post plan. We talked about the fact that they got so many ult orbs into their last round. They're able to throw that rolling thunder. Truman knows it. Everybody plays for it. That's why they play in the open there, middle of the site. Sweetie gets the frags, which is nice. As unfortunately, not enough time to defuse on that one. So they hold off just long enough coming from stairs, get just enough picks, enough trades. We'll say though, since they do play their bonus for ults, they don't get an econ damage. It means that there's still money in Ball State's pockets. So they've rebought here. Wichita State have gone for that force. They've gone guardians on this round. The headshots are clean. I'm not too worried about it, but of course you can't get that spray down. It's harder to spray transfer. So we'll see what they bring to the table here. As they've gone a little bit more one dimensional for this round. They'll send everybody over towards A. Once again, leaving that chamber on the lurk, this time on the other side of the map. Yeah, I really like that Wichita State came in with a very clear game plan. They got all the ult orbs to the breach and just used that to hold on to the post plan. And very intentional with everything they've done so far, despite the round being so close. Mm. Jeem, oh my goodness, this man is absolutely NASCARing his way through the site. Even my hop up to drop, that would have been dangerous. All the way through CT, oh, he's another sister. before going down. That is so much space being bought right now for this setup. Pizza Saurus as well is able to take out J Corn on the flank. Now it's just the last two players left, and they are holed up right now. It's so difficult to break through when Parker's already gotten so much information. The patience here coming from Wichita State. Nobody giving too much on the peak. They've got each other's back as well. Kabul will hold this left side angle to make sure no swings can come through. Truman's got the other side of sand, so Tin will fall. And you're running oh, away after Parker. will get caught. Tries to get away with that upgraded weapon, but it will not happen. 2-2, two, two, your scoreline. Wichita State will run through that round. Will get us to an even score line. And I hate to say it again, Tristan, but it comes off the ult orbs early. They've got the ults to come through. They recognize the fact that, hey, we don't have as much util going into this round. So let's go ahead. We'll pop some lightning hands. We'll get ourselves out with that neon. Jeem grabs too early. The second CT frag is just icing on the cake, really. And they're able to throw through that null command as well from Tsin to say, hey, no utility coming from the defensive side. It means that no one's going to stop Jeem. A beautiful ult combination to come through for this team. It works perfectly to take the A site, they get guns for their troubles, they broke the eco as well. Yeah, Jeem really buys so much space too. It's so valuable what he did there. As we see a lot of players coming through, Jeem swings wide and he still gets one. I feel like this guy, whenever he wants a fight, he gets it. Kavanaugh is kind of stuck in the corner here. Do they check him is the question. Dodges the blind, he's got one, he's got two. A third one is on the plate, but Swooty puts an end to him. Damage has been done though, Ball State in shambles right now. TN is the only one that can stop this, but at one HP, not even this ultimate can bail you out of a situation like this. Mm -hmm. That is, unless he does something miraculous here. Already one kill. He's got several more to find though, if they want to way back into this round. Gun recovered by Swooty as well. 
So the armory isn't looking terrible here. Still so much ground to work up though. If they actually want to get back up onto this bomb and so many angles to check. So information to be gained is that fault line does come through from Canteen. The other one thundered this round, but just time runs shorter. You have no info still. The only thing you're going to use that one relay bolt to come out to swing for one oh, second as well. Beautiful. As GM will clean up the shot for 3k for the Neon. 3-2 scoreline for Wichita State. Now back into that gun round. You can definitely tell these guys have been watching Masters. These, those are That was almost an identical play to the one that Victor made when he was trying to play the post plant. The stun in the corner, swing out behind it. It's textbook Neon right there. And you can see it right here. Knowing he had 1 HP. So difficult to hit a swing that fast as well. Just beautiful awesome. play so far from Wichita. I mean, the first two rounds looks uh, looks pretty messy, but since then they've quickly battened down the hatches. They've really tightened the game plan. Tien though, he's got another op to nice. work with. This one might not be as good as his last one, but damage can be done. Oh, the shot just goes south. Unfortunate. He's gonna have to try and recover. He's kind of stuck in tower right now. A lot to contend with. Can't hit the shot. He teleports out, but he is swarmed completely. Nowhere to go. Yeah, they all that's the loan of the site. Already. Means there's absolutely no TP game for him there. Chessy at the top of the box, and it's already been covered by Wichita are already into spawn. Making sure that rotation is completely cut off to the neon in the chamber. Both went here immediately getting into the site. Ian, it's good to trade one back, but still going to be in that 2v4 scenario. Jaycorn's got to make something happen to allow his teammate to get through. He's trying to clear that CT for him, and it will He's on a timer. be clear now. Time's up. Man, Wichita State, this is fantastic right here. They're just not giving a second for Ball State to breathe. And I love that their confidence is sky high. I mean, sometimes after losing those first two rounds, you can see teams start to just get a little nervous, get a little shaky, knowing Ooh. that they're in the grand finals. Ian, nice headshot though. Wow. That's got to feel good. Even, even, even in a round loss, when you get a nice little headshot like that, you know, you're feeling yourself a little. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes you just got it. You gotta know you still got it. Also, exactly. zip lines away. Intelligent heads up play there to make sure he does not get any sort of flank. Like uh, we get to see from Jim come out, who was on his way coming through back into CT spawn. So he avoids the danger there. Fortunately, the team can't avoid the breakage of Eco because, of course, they lose that round buying up yet again. So they're gonna go for the half by here. The hero rifle, of course, to come through since Ian did save it. I'll give it over to Tian instead, though. Uh -huh. His ultimates working oh, nice on being guy. charged back up here. If they can get some spacing. They've got the three stack over towards A. If they just get an orb over, at the very least, it means into the next round, even if they have a player die, they'll have that raise rocket ready options available for them because right now, we shot State have been on fire in both their ultimates and both their strategy. So if you're Ball State, you need some sort of advantage and the easiest advantage in the game is to come from what is the built-in advantage, right? The ultimate ability, the chance to do a little bit more and whether it's environmental impact, whether it's a rocket in your hands and they'll do just that so they move out they get some extra space to arcade they've got an orb at the very least right there now we'll see what they can get here on this crossfire it's just so difficult to actually break into the site when you only have control of drop especially with these flanks coming in that fairly quickly here great with the flash that flash to contain them to keep them here Gene's gonna walk straight into danger run straight into danger if you will into high gear and straight out of, of the round. Ian will pick up one with the classic. There's a gun down close. The Ray's gonna try to clear it. Beautiful wow. ult to make this happen. Everybody's stunned so close here towards satellite. Pizza Source will take one back. Truman has one as well. It's a James Bond move with these play two players sitting back to back trying to make it happen. The KO's gonna swing around. T-Sin will pick up oh. one on the flank and suddenly things are back into favor for Wichita State. They've avoided the danger just for the moment being and that means the Rolling Thunder is gonna be gone as well. Reed's come through for Ball State. They've got some guns to work with. Can Corn find this first shot? He can. 2-2 two, two the score line. Or 2-2, the player count, I should say, and Seeker. Seeker's going to be up. They'll go through, and they're going to read what is this rotate. 13 which seconds. Stay hightailing it back. Four-second plant. Left. It's close. Oh, they're going to meet each other at the summit, at the apex pizza source. You have to the get plant. on site. He's completely blinded up. No time to plant. They're going to be losing this round either way. The kills are just going to be a bonus at the end for either side. It's just a one-for-one, one, three to four, Wichita State. I mean, that was highway robbery for that round. Just get that space initially out of arcade. They get to walk through that trademark and to say, okay, now that we've got this spacing, all we have to do is contain. They throw the breach flashes down to the top of drop to make sure that they're not able to swing through into the site, which allows for the flank to happen. Guns get picked up. They say, 
Screw it. Swooty, you've got the Rolling Thunder. Throw it in there. Make sure they're not moving. Make sure they're not swinging our teammates on the flank. It allows for a swing to come through. You see Parker in the replay there able to grab an additional kill to the front of Satellite. And from there, they have some weapons. They have some stuff to work with. Wichita State try to make it to B. That first frag is huge. It makes them rotate back. And by then, there's just no time. Oh my god. Dude, you, can, you can see how studied this team is right now for Wichita State. This is an identical hit to the one we saw Optic execute. And they have so many ults to work with right now. They do lose one of the entry, though, to the spam. Let's see how much these ultimates can actually do for them when it comes to holding down the site. Teeson at a very risky angle right now. He's suppressing them for so long that it's no... They're going to have to do this with essentially no utility. Pizzasaurus, nice, on the cross. He's able to get one. Teeson chimes in with one of his own. Teeson's got a second, nearly a third, but Jaycorn has something to say about it. It's a 2v2 right now, but very low HP in Chamber. Ball State finds himself in a bit of trouble. There's the Rolling Thunder. The blind's going to have to bail Jaycorn out of here. He's stunned up. He's got one. He's got to get back on the bomb, but it's not planted. For the breach here, he swings out, Truman headshots him. One more shot would have put him away, but he's not going to go down that easily. And Wichita State, from the grips of defeat, managed to pull it out. 2v1, still a util to work with. They throw the Rolling Thunder out just to guarantee the round, and Jaycorn still makes it look so scary. Even sitting in the fall line, so very close, his crouch sprays, and is able to find that first bullet. It goes just a little bit stray. So they break the eco. Just stay. I mean, you could question mark that if you want to, that they throw the Rolling Thunder, but sometimes you just need a round, man. They grab themselves around, and they make sure Ball State don't grab any more. And after the shenanigans we just saw in the eco, you don't want to risk this team getting another round. Don't give them the momentum. Don't let them make it happen. So I love the call there from them. So composed. And I love this on the eco. So uncomposed. Just run it down on them. You got nothing anyway. There's nothing to lose. They've all rushed spawn. Kava's oh, sitting there dead. Yeah. That's two bomb. guns picked up. That's the bomb. That's this so is disaster for Wichita State, the worst case scenario. Down. Oh, they look at them. They're just setting up an absolute firing squad. Good luck. Good luck, Wichita State. Congratulations on having the flanks here. Now, uh, now the bomb's just sitting, sitting in the midst of a, a party. Yeah. Not a very friendly party either. Definitely exclusive and, uh, there's a couple bouncers on both sides of the coin here. And this question is, <laughs> how good is the IGL and how good is the utility usage coming right out of this team? It's got to be immaculate. Fault line's going to come through. Not needed. Ooh. G will find the first. Still has relay bolts to work with. Still going to have a lightning lane as well. And the breach has util too. It's the first flash to come in. The breach to swing through off of said flash. flash. We'll find one. Looking for a second has it. But Ian will grab three. And Jake Corn will find the last. A thrifty round for Ball State. Who absolutely run it down a hallway. They find the spike carrier chilling in spawn. Cabbage just nothing you can do there. Getting ran down by five players. And that means that spike drops. And they never get a chance to recover. Oh my. What a play. And I mean, criticism has to go over to... I, you, you're definitely going to hear those footsteps coming out. When you hear all those yeah. footsteps running at you aiming on a thrifty round... You just have to book it. Take the take the rope across the lane if you have to. Just meet up with your team and just cut losses at that point because you cannot be caught Let's out in play. the open. Especially when you have the bomb like that. It just makes him pay. But Jeem, he's back again. Out comes the showstopper. Wants oh, to got stop the sight. in his tracks. But look how fast he is. He's just avoiding everyone. Teesum eventually picks off Parker as he's trying to find the other player. TN does get caught in the back of the site. He's going to get two before getting dropped. A blessing for his team. That could have been much, much worse if it wasn't for the heroics of T in there. They will have access to the bomb plant, but everyone has already rotated over. It's not going to be easy. All this utility to work at work past. There's the cabbages coming out just to identify the player's location. Jaycorn wants this spray down. A second player to find. Both headshots coming through. The only one left, a Pizzasaurus. He's got an operator to work with. The Tour de Force. It's one one. Dog will come through. Should get in for that. That guy's to the back of the site as well. So Pizza Source knows. Oh, they know he's here. What he's walking into. Look how paranoid he is right now. Forty oh, seconds still. Plenty of time to try and fool a bit. Thirty seconds. Talks left. to Flash. Set towards CT. Now it's taking so long to have info any he's longer. Walking, though. They, they can't hear him just yet. He's got the first. The second is right in front of him, but Ian, too quick on the adjustment. That was scary for a second. Five to five right now. This is even as ever so far. 
good hold on that 2v1 and the patience is good as well for them the utility comes out jaycorn doesn't see anything over the top side of tower doesn't see anything arcade so moves all the way around to be there with his teammate towards site is the bait in that scenario and ian's able to have an easy swing coming through from canteen side because well, they take the time to clear so nicely and pizza source grabs that first Switches to the Phantom, no gun in the hand, Ian, he's taking a 1-on-0 one fight, I mean, there's nothing really to worry about. If your opponent has the weapon in hand, finds it easily. GM doesn't find anything in that round on the ult, but did indeed cause a distraction. Was the bait in that round and it worked out. Mm, TN forced to teleport out early, and he's suppressed as well, so he's going to be stuck behind the signpost. Jeem is just playing on crackhead sensitivity right now. Look how they're Look giving it to guy. him. I like how they're not contesting the, the Neon anymore. They're giving yeah. the Neon that space because the Neon's just been an issue for them. And it's been honestly more convincing for them to just let it walk away. It's why they have players left into that last round because they're not trying to swing for it anymore. Down, Team will find hey. it with the op. They do get to walk into that A site though as a trade to come back for both teams. So they're two site going with one right now. The rest have tried to make their way forward as they're on that flank patrol duty. Orbital strike so hand, you gotta get contest plant. the Neon too. I mean, they just give themselves uh, more space to work with uh, Ball State. Although, I think that's a bomb plant down and an extra pick. It's still a 3v3. The utility usage has to be immaculate to get back onto this bomb plant. The Pizzasaurus, he has to teleport back out. Kava just gets mowed down. It's got to be up to Tyson. He's got the one to find. The second one on the bomb, he's shot to bits. Red HP. He's going to have to make noise if he wants to try and swing on this. He gets one. One HP, though, and he's looking the wrong way. Swooty just gets an easy one. Freebie to clean up that round. Six to five. You played yourself. You didn't look too pleased he with was that one, Cat. I'm not he, gonna lie. He was trying to read the flash, right? It's it's a smart play, okay? It's a smart play. It's a little too smart. He said, he's going to flash me. He's going to swing, right? I'm going to play gonna counter flash. Walk. I'm going to turn around on him. I'm going to hit him with it while he's got no gun in his hands. Swoody said, yeah, I'm going to swing this guy. My teammate said he hit him for a lot. I mean, he's 1 HP. That's an easy swing <laughs> for me. Like... Sometimes you outplay yourself. I like what he was doing. It just didn't work out. The post plant started off nice. Just everybody wide swung and lost the fight, to be honest with you. They had an orbital strike to work with. Could have orbital strike in front of sight to get them some spacing, but it's hard to time that. Things are a little bit difficult. Uh, just never were able, able to play off each other there. They had a nice crossfire set up from drop and sight. Just didn't see it come to fruition. Yeah, praise definitely has to come out, though, from like, like you said. And this time, instead of contesting or instead of letting the Neon have the site, they just set up a crossfire for when Neon overextends. Parker now working in tandem with TN. They're holding this down, locking it up. Tower is closed for business. Got to go There's somewhere else. Now. I love that. You call it out perfectly. The crossfire there is all it really takes. Gene walks in and they say, ah, yeah, not today. Not going to happen. And now Wichita State <laughs> suddenly say, wait a minute, he didn't get on site? Now we don't have any space. So they've cut noise, they're going to come back and try yet again, but Boss State have not rotated one minute. They don't need to. They get a Viper Spit all the way over towards A, and they've got no contact there just yet. So no reason to cause rotations. They've still got three players up close and personal. The reach will be one of said players. So your points come through. It's got the raise, but that is it. So everybody else is going to have the space to play with utility, and it means no info to them towards site. All they know is that that raise is tower. They don't know about the chamber close left. They don't clear it either. Kian is just on fire this round. Three on the round. Swooty gets the last... Seven to five, Ball State really heating up towards the end there. And I mean, it feels like everything changes when you start to play around the neon. Five yeah. rounds, though. I mean, yeah. five rounds on attacking. You'll definitely take that. You'll take it. You have to have that neon, though, now into your defensive comp. So mm. that you definitely are playing this comp with the idea of, of winning your attacking side. Because they know they're starting on the attacking side, of course. So they pick for that side. The, the, the Neon's not bad on the defense, but you have to get creative with it. And a lot of the time, you have to play a little bit more aggressively. Because the util isn't insane for stopping these. I mean, of course, you do have those relay bolts for a bit of concussion power. The lightning lane that can work as a, a Viper's wall at times. But you really are playing quick rotations with that Neon. And you're playing to get quick bursts of damage, quick disruptions, and then you want to get out. So, if Gene was getting shut down to the, the back half of, of the, the offensive side by Ball State, think about how that's going to translate now to trying to play the defense into them. Yeah, absolutely. This pistol round is so important as well, just for being Damn. able to get off to a good start. TN just gets bested by his counterpart there. Hate Pizza to see that. Gets a gets a freebie, teleports out. Information gathered as well. Man advantage is there. Clean as a whistle. Not a single tag. It's an interesting setup here. A lot of players towards sand, just jiggling the drop here. Unfortunately for them, the three stack is on the wrong side of the map. 
So Ball State does have a pretty good chance of being able to entry themselves onto the site here. Yeah, and the Nia's Question not in is, that how triple clean stack can they either. Make it? So the Nia's in that triple stack, there's not a quick rotation for it. There's already nice limited utility, line. no quick rotation. There's a lightning thing for the Viper's wall that we talk about. They're going to walk straight through it. Of course, they will get burned just a little bit, though, and that's permanent damage, not a DK. So they do take a bit of damage, but that's site open. That's the plan to go down. All the util going to come to the retake now, and that triple stack, since it didn't get anything, it has all the util still. Plenty of time to work back onto the site. The rotations did come over fairly quickly, and Pizza Sores getting an early headshot. That's great news for them. So many players towards Ooh. Arcade, and they are just not willing to let them have any space. Parker, oh. though, he's got two. Smoothie's got frenzy. one as well. They're going to try and hurry up and get back onto the site, but they just don't have enough time. Truman gets headshot to 1v2 now, and Truman is just so quick. Gene wasn't even needed on the flank there. Wichita State takes themselves home a pistol round. Yeah, they throw that utility that they've got cooking from that triple stack on the A site. They take it in to the round, and they just run it down off those flashes. You get the flashes from the KO, you get the breach flashes, you just go to town. It gets very close to the end because a nice 2k from Parker, but Truman hits one right back, says, I can do it too. Don't even worry about it. Gets back with that defuse, takes the round, and you're going to see one Guardian come through. The rest will be Spectres. It means there's bonus potential for this team of Wichita State, but they got to get those guns out the round too. Bonus them. Ball State not going to look to make that one easy. Once again, they'll throw that chamber onto the flank. Same place they had before. It's going to be arcade side, and it looks like they're not playing for orbs. With this setup, they're playing very much to the default split. I think they're just going to run this one down. I love the skin. A little wrapping paper. Should the wrapping paper be off? Am I going crazy here? It's interesting. I actually kind of like it. You said it, it was like Christmas, that, bro, you, but it's not Christmas yet. It's like it's a present. Oh, you know yeah, they got to wait to open. Yeah, you got to wait till see. Christmas Day. You don't open presents early. Not in this house. <laughs> Gene looking to get some Gene presents. Slides in. This is ridiculous. A second? I can't believe he's doing this. On Christmas Eve, you let him open two gifts? My grandma only ever let me open one. I'm going to be honest. Like that. <laughs> He's got it better than me. t will walk in the side, and that's a third gift as Ian will go down. I mean, everyone deserves to have one, right? t said, Gene got two. I want one as well, and we'll get oh, three a third going gift. into this it. This guy's spoiled. Yeah, yeah, I mean, look, they say the middle child is not the favorite. Well, uh, what, what do you think about that? <laughs> I am the middle child, baby, so I, uh, I got to be the favorite, right? Gene slides in there. Gets a two-piece. t gets the rest of the three on the round. Looks like these two siblings get all the presents. Yeah, he said bonus presence. It's bonus time now. So we'll get four specters going in. And, of course, that Guardian, because they all stayed alive. And if you didn't know, if you stay alive, you keep your gun. This is kind of how it works. We'll get rifles all the way from Ball State. And uh, while you're taking those rifles in, you're hoping to win this round. If you don't, you be, your ego broken. You don't win the round either. And then wish does take the kill pretty comfortable. Final will come through early. Your point it was destroyed. such a clean bonus no round, info. too. I mean, this is just all this is just all economic damage they can really do here. Oh, look this is like coming so is. fast. Oh, look how quick he's on this flank. Do they actually hear him coming? They're going to get stunned up here, but they still get mowed down. down. Kava is able to trade one back. Truman as well on the flank. He's got the blind up, but he still gets taken out by Tien. This is messy. It's sloppy. Backyard brawling right now, and it seems to be going favorably for Ball State so far. But the bomb is lost out in the open. They know Kava's here. He's gotten a kill previously. Decide not to push the issue. Wisely enough, they can just hold angles for now. They've already lost two rifles in the round. Any more would make it a very costly eco. Three smokes? Two smokes? I lied. I can't read. <laughs> First point, tuck towards canteen. Oh, we'll hear yeah. all this information on the drop. Yes, indeed. First smokes. Should show both here on this one, to be honest. One goes towards canteen. Way too deep, though. Unfortunate. She just doesn't know what we know. It's one close box. Jaycorn easily able to grab that one away. I say they're not smoked. 8 7. Your scoreline boss, they will take it. And they do shut down the bonus potential. Gun round now to come through. Oh, yeah, Tristan, do you ever just get. Round. Do you ever get so excited about something that you just like. You move a little too fast, like. Uh, and you just. The, the, everything falls apart. Ever happened to you? Can you relate to that? It feels like you're referring to something very specific, but yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm referring to that round. You know, I just feel like they, they got <laughs> excited. They, they were here on the flank. We got flashes. Everything's going to work out for us. That They just kind of move too quickly, and it all falls apart like right in front of them. You know what I mean? Like, you get so the close to stacking up the cups that you just put the last cup on a little bit too fast, and the whole, the whole stack just falls. That's, that's kind of what it felt like. A cups, a competitive cup stacking reference. You get it all here on ECAC. Unbelievable. <laughs> You did a cup stack in gym class? Back in school? Uh, no, have a, you, no, we had a whole unit did. for cup stacking. My I, favorite unit, yeah. in fact. I'm a, I'm a nerd. 
that's pretty insane. I didn't know that uh, gym classes even yeah, did cup speed stacking. stacking. Yeah. I did the the little um, the like the ripsticks and the Chinese yo-yos. The ripstick. Yeah. Okay. I can't never, believe it was a ripstick unit. No, we did not have a ripstick unit. Every kid so wanted a ripstick after we did that. It was honestly just a, a, a giant advertisement for ripsticks, but it worked. I ended up getting a ripstick. And you know what? They were fun. I will be the first one to say it. I'm a ripstick rocker. Uh, you're a ripstick the rocker. They go. Side Jake rocker. He's got one to find in the back site. Blinded up and taken down. It's easy peasy. Let me squeeze the cabin now. Standing out in the open. He's going to win his duel with Jay Corn. An important player to take out. Truman as well gets a spam kill. Swoody goes down. 3v4 now. Low HP in the chamber as well. Ian is just waiting for his opportunity to spring out. Several players in sand. Do they actually try and aggress on him? Instead, everyone just goes towards the site. They check drop as well. He gets put down. The trades are coming through. It's blue in the kill feed. Ian is the only one left standing. Truman is not sure where to look just yet, though. When does he decide to spring through? Not on the right time. That's when Truman puts one in the dome. It's 8-8. Eight to eight. We got ourselves a game here. So, Ball State swings everybody out of drop with nothing really held yet and you know i i love the confidence you know, that's what i want to say out front I, I love the confidence you get the sky flash to lead them in kind of what in a similar fashion to what used to be the phoenix curveballs through smoke so they do blind the players to sight but that's all the space that they get and then it just allows for an easy retake to come back through because they haven't really claimed any additional space other than that sight these have no other control and their things just start to fall apart us that slack just slowly gets cut away. Man, you, made, you painted a very gruesome picture there. Sorry, bro. Uh, that's what the round looked like. I'm a little sad now. <laughs> Don't be sad. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. It's all tied up. Smile. <laughs> okay, well. With positive. With PMA like that. Oh, that was a massive 3K spray down. Disgusting. Holy, that was actually wow. the round over. Just if that How sad connect. are you if that happens to you? I'm, I'm beyond sad. You need that to find a so new cool. word. Especially because it's right, right? It's like, you do all that damage, and there's a sky just <laughs> Just healed. Yeah, they're back. Unfortunate, really. And so everyone's just full HP again. With the cabbage just coming out. They can just follow this one onto the site. They already know, just because both of them ended up going sand, that there's no one on the site. They know this is a free take right now. Oh the fault line is stalling out Kaba even longer. I'll tell you if you're Kaba. Man just got hit by a fault line. Seeker. He's not seen anything ever. All those strikes would go oh, down and you're even more sad now. Usage. Spike down A. That spike oh, this down? This is gorgeous. Gene will make sure no one's able to easily pick it up. Uh, we'll get oh, picked up through the lightning lane. Jacob will take that one away. So back to site they are. 20 seconds still. And this Redick has happened so quickly that they've lost this additional player. They've lost this additional utility. And they got to try to recoup right what they've lost which means you gotta stop the spike plant cabal will grab one tm will come oh, up a with the Torta force to take one back they get the site now still no plant just yet parker will take down cabal rolling thunder to come through stops the plant yet again swing from true and massive into the round oh, finds Truman. two tn you've got to sit there you got a plant but there's just no time brother that's the end of the round he was praying for a peak main he took the Torta force down the tunnel but did not get one the peak comes through at the end of the round and well brother you are gone a 3k for truman a huge ult to save that round and yeah after that chaos i respect the ball state timeout call i love it i love watching these high level teams go at it you can see the utility usage it is picture perfect gene that is unlucky i'll be honest with you there yeah, you're just, you're overdriving through you slide you make yourself hard to hit and you just get domed through the light it through, uh, through the wall anyway it's just sometimes it's just the way the cookie crumbles and truman with some fantastic heroics there that when the rolling thunder is available you never know which way the round can go. And just this icing on the cake right here. A little bit risky to peek out before the time was officially over. But must have just felt he was feeling himself. I mean, he's 16 and 8. Leading the team. Leading the charge. This guy is on go right now. On go right now in the game on pause. Ball State. Eco broken. Going to be looking to play this one with pistols. Ian says, I want the Chico round. We'll buy the Sheriff. We'll see what he can get out of it. Had a 3K last half with the Sheriff, so potential for them. He's a, he's a fantastic eco right player there. on this Viper, so we'll see who's able to get. They've got themselves a Viper's Pit. They've got themselves a, that Showstopper as well. Neither of these two things should be seen into this round. Last eco, we did not see Ball State play for Orbs. Could potentially see that switch up because we know Wichita State. Their big four-round run last half early on started off of what was an eco where they just grabbed all four. So... 
We'll see if they switch things up here. Looks like they will not still. Yeah, they're default. one off of the Rolling Thunder as well. So orbs could be very useful here. They're actually fighting Dish. This is not something we see too often. Jean wants no this, way. but his teammate has already gone down. He's blinded up. Has to just try and overdrive to safety. But look how many players are hot in his heels. Instead, he actually wants this fight even longer. The dog may just spot him out here. Tyson on the other side of the map. He's going to get a headshot for himself, but Gene caught slipping. He falls asleep with the wheel here, and this is supposed to be an eco, but they've just gotten two weapons to recover by fighting Dish. Yeah, there's no utility left to really stop this team from taking sight, and they know about it. The walk in, flash to come through now. Truman to swing for oh, two off of it as well. Man. The great equalizer here into this round. Fault line will come through to the close left. One enemy Throw down the aftershocks. Pisasaurus so will well take done. two. So they've got to move away off of that breach utility. Parker good for one, but instant trade to come back the other way. Wichita State will stop the eco 10 to 8. Well, they still get some value out of that one, especially if you're Jaycorn. So well done with the utility. I mean, this is just so textbook. What a blind there from Truman to get a double spray down. And then he makes sure that Parker has to expose himself out into the open. So yes, he goes down. But the way he's jiggling there too, he purposely makes himself as hard to hit as possible to draw the attention for the rest of his team to get on site. Just, just textbook right there. Exactly how you want to be playing this if you're a breach player. Now the Rolling Thunder is available. He didn't even have to use it that round. 18 and 9. Gorgeous play right now from Truman. As they just go so aggressive out A. But they end up getting domed regardless. This was red perfectly. Now which is the state down a man. Let's see how they adjust their game plan accordingly. Fram looking to stop spacing early. But now it is indeed gone. So they can take that space yet again if they'd like to. For now, Ball State just looking to see if they can catch Wicked Star State in a bit of a rotation. Nobody's moved a muscle just yet, though, for this team. The hold towards CT, they've got both the Brim, who's going to have those smokes, and the Breach, who's got those flashes, the early stop to the pushes. Sat floating CT, so they can get to either side if they need to be. Right now, Ball State is making no noise. No noise. Teeson, a great spray down. Ian can't get the cross. 4-4 four to four now. Ooh. Several players still on the site. Swoody is able to get traded out there. One for one. Parker, a big frag, though, to get them firm control of the site. Plus, they come through Canteen. Has info to at least one. It'll be both here instead. Tour de Force, Pizza Swords to find the first. So I feel to go down. Spike just sitting in the yeah, control the of this operator. Uh oh. Big fight. He doesn't right realize he's being watched right now, but he looks away at the wrong time. The timing gets the better of Truman there. Parker just destroys Pizzasaurus. Wow. A bit of an anticlimactic ending there. Interesting round all around. I mean, it really just came down to uh, Ball State cut noise. The rotation didn't come through. Truman read it quite nicely. They left three over. Closer to the B side than the A side on those two floaters. And Ball State's kind of walked in and won the fights. Yeah, I mean, not really much more to say other than that. That's the information is power in this game, and cutting all noise like that can really make a team start second guessing themselves, start freaking out a little bit. When the panic sets in, the aim is off, it's a little bit shaky. Oh, look at this position from Swooty here. He's gonna catch one with this ultimate for sure. Jeem though, he's gonna be hard to hit. Gets put down though. Jay Corn is just too consistent with it. To miss here. Tisa now, he's alone. He's isolated. Has to try and move forward, but he just gets but... swung. The specter is quick. Yeah, Fast guess... and the Furious. The sequel is here. And this site has been taken care of. Wichita State, though, they're just going to burn the Rolling Thunder for this retake. I'm not sure if you want to do this, though, in a 2v4. Is it worth it? They think... get absolutely nothing off yeah, of it. Yeah, I think you just got your answer. Well, deja vu. Both players, once again, sat towards Canteen. Time, uh, I don't really think they even find the first pick. Fault line will come through. First swing onto site. Both players will trade damage back and forth. Capita set through the screen now. Still not getting the peak he's hoping for. And TN will walk out the smoke. Take the last two. Truman does grab one before going down, but goes down nonetheless. The so ball state have the round. 10 10 your score line. And yeah, Rolling Thunder, you know what came through? They said we're going to get it. We're going to come back. And the only place they came back to was CT spawn because uh, nothing opened up. Yep.
And without that ultimate, I mean, you close a lot of doors for yourself. But 10 to 10. It's hard to charge it back up before the end of the, this end of the game, exactly too. This is exactly what I love to see as a commentator. Give us these even matches. Give us this back and forth. This swing for swing, blow for blow. This is something akin to, I don't know if you any any UFC fans in the in the chat right now. This is Chimaya. This is Burns. Just swinging for the fences right now. Going for the knockout blow. And speaking of which, an early pick for Ball State. They're trying to close the casket right now. Jaquan gets no information off that dog as well, but there's limited weaponry right now on the side of Ooh, Wichita State. They're making these sheriffs sing, though. There's only room in this town for one of us. And Truman, a quick gun pickup. He's going to hear these rotations. He hears them stomping around towards A. Jim already making his way back as a result, but he's walking this entire time. He's not going to get there before the bomb goes down, but he will have a position they may not expect. Just want to make sure that rotation does come through. There's always a chance they cut noise when they walk away to CT. Now they hear the plant, so now they commit to this rotation. He'll be here early. Got two breach flashes to work with. I have that fault line back up yet again. I'm not sure if the aftershock's there or not, but I do know that all this neon utility is going to be here. Oh, gee, uh, like they ships in the night, in. they pass each other. Just wait oh, for this breach this... from drop. The spam could be their undoing. He gets the first, the Viper fits about to drop, but he does get caught in the fault line. Just isolates himself off while Truman takes care of business. Wichita State, a fantastic clutch from two of their star members. Page is a virtue there for them to take home that eco round. They get info early. Truman has a phenomenal flash to find two coming out of tower. That allows him to get that vandal in his hands in the first place. Jeem waits, walks down hallway, patiently steps around the smoke looking for information. When they do inevitably jump in, they find the Viper. They don't start the push until they know that Truman's 100% drop. Then they go for that spray down. And Truman's able to step through the fault line. Unfortunately, he does grab his teammate, but all good. His teammate's there to sit down their own piece of utility, and Truman can finish the job. So up one round is Wichita State still also to work with. Ball State going to look to consolidate this one. They've been playing pretty far two away on the lurk into their splits this time around. Only one. So they're going to look to take this one straight towards the A side. Several members towards this A side. Not quite committing to it. Truman just sliding back. Look how aggressive they're playing right now in Wichita State. They're getting a lot of information out aiming by being able to hold this down but if they lose b site fairly quickly this a information doesn't mean much not very many rotations coming through just yet but pizzasaurus if they don't clear him out here this could be huge he goes for the swing gets one and teleports out that's the power of this chamber should have been that spike drop arcade like too. That. Got the spike not too much. There's so much room site open that they should be able to get right back through tower control. They'll do just that. Makes the plan interesting though. Wichita State will have Rolling Thunder Orbital Strike to work with too. Cabin can stop this plant straight in his tracks and he'll do just oh, that. Man, There's Orbital Strike. It'll go down. Oh, plant man. does go down before and Orbital Strike won't catch anyone else. It will spread them out to site though. So you can pick up two coming out of stairs. Piece of Swords has one as well. Traded back by Ian who instantly is traded right back by Truman. That's a match point for Wichita mm. State. It's a 12-10 scoreline. It's a very clean retake. Only took them one ult to do it. The rest of the team just comes through off nice retake timing. Oh man, are you feeling claustrophobic right now? I'm no starting to feel a little site. claustrophobic with the way Wichita State is just closing their grip around the throats of Ball State right now. Just really well done. I mean, just making sure they wait for their rotations. I love they give up the plant there. They know that they have the man advantage. They know that they have the positional advantage with the double flanks coming in. Why overextend yourself? Why give over unnecessary kills you play, when you know these play. ultimates are available for your team? When you know that when everyone collapses in, it can only go one way. Tyson, though, he gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar, walking out. He walks himself right into an operator, right into a tour de force. Pizzasaurus is here for the trade, though. Can't get his teleport off. Instead, he just gets headshot, put down by Ian. Wichita State. Kind of fumbles the bag here. And Ball State is not out of this just yet. Sky Smoke will go down on the oh. trademark. Look at that. Jim will walk around. Good catch from the Observer. I don't think they actually are prepared for this. Okay, they have one looking back. 
So they are aware of this possibility. Going Thunder up. Okay, throw into this round though, I mean, you can let one slide, play for exits here, and run it back the next. Because time runs shorter and shorter. That's the first pick. So if you're going to do it, it it's got to be now. G will grab another. Oh, Second to go with wow. this round suddenly way more winnable with just no, no time on it. Wow. So they grab all the exits. You like to see that. The only one getting away is going to be Spooty of that breach. Kappa falls the spike, which is a little unfortunate. Wait, he doesn't have a gun either. They get value. They get value. Wait, look at the look at the buys though. Wichita yep. State, a fantastic call there to just go for exits. They cannot actually pick up much on the side of Ball State now. They're at a, they're at a stark disadvantage when it comes to the weaponry as a result of these ex exit frags. Thanks. Just so well done from Wichita State. It, it just feels like they're 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 making the right calls in most situations. They're making the intelligent yep. plays whenever they have the information to do so. That's what I love being able to cast Grand Finals. I mean, a culmination of a lot of hard work, a lot of drilling, and a lot of practice. These IGLs making these calls seem to be so well versed in the playbooks. 11 to 12. Do we see overtime on map 1? Or is Wichita State destined to shut Ball State down when they need to the most? Toss the screen up. I've we'll block the train. cross going into the A site. Seekers coming from drop as well. That'll cause the rotation for Wichita State. Oh. Trying to grab one through the Seekers. J Corn gonna fall. Fought line will be there. It'll get caught as well by the concussion of the Seekers. So they've got some space to work with. They've taken that space all the way to the site. Plants gonna go down for sure. Rolling Thunder. We talked about it didn't go in the last round, so can go into this one. We'll have that to work with. They have all of Sands to work with as well. It's a matter of where they want to poke and prod first, but they got the numbers advantage. Rolling Thunder out. They'll get a hit with one of their own. Thunder. That's it. Everybody but one. It's I switched the Neon and two player CTs. They can swing out for the trades as well. Pizza Source to pick up one. Gene gets to sight. We'll get a right oh. click to take down one. Tina trade one back. He had to do way more than that though with three on two right now. He's got nothing. He's got no, no more utility to use. He's just sticking it. It doesn't matter if you're still alive because the bomb is defused. Tien, he's left with nothing. Wichita State has done it. Ridiculous. That, that was such a fantastic match. It was so good that I think my camera is just frozen. I, I can't blame your camera, man. That was absolutely phenomenal. 13-11 scoreline means Wichita State will take their own map pick of Fracture. And the I'm first seed in time. are up first in this one. And quite a nice showing for them. You talked about the IGL prowess coming from them. Just they looked a little bit smarter all the way through. Starting on the attacking side, things just, they looked good. And they continue to look good. I'm going to be refreshing my camera when we head to this break. But as for now, I mean, let me really quick. We can have to get a word in about what we just saw because that yeah. was a fantastic play from both sides. It's not like some of these uh, when you when you see lower level teams that may that make boneheaded plays sometimes where they where they're using their utility inefficiently. They're peaking when they don't need to. They're not playing off each other for the trades. This is mm -hmm. this is not that. This is well-coordinated teamwork. These are hits coming in together. Utility usage always finds value. I mean, just beautiful. Just beautiful. And Wichita State, I can't praise enough how well they played off of each other this time around. Fracture is one of those maps where your coordination can really get you some sight hits. And you can definitely tell they take a lot from some of these professional teams, some of these high-tier teams like the Optic, and directly inject it into their own gameplay. And I mean, I I just, I love it. I love it. I'm loving this utility. I'm loving this level of gameplay we're seeing. And whatever team comes out on top, I'm already feeling like they definitely deserve a spot at land. So with that being said, we're going to head it over to a quick break. But don't go anywhere when we're back. We get to game two. We may not have gotten overtime, but we got plenty more maps to go. We're back with Bind on the next one. We'll see you then.
Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying to live. Oh my God, it's real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, it's real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, is real big. I got to do it big, the only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. 
I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards. It's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Oof, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, it's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying to live. Oh my God, it's real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, it's real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. 
What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a cloud two wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Oof, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify. Welcome back. Welcome back to the ECAC Esports Grand Finals. This was a fantastic game when it came down to the wire. It was a heartbreaker. 13 to 11. You always hate to see it when it could have gone over time. It's got to be demoralizing to the team. And, you know, you hear it time and time again from players, Cat, that. It's always worse to lose a game that's 13 to 11 than it is a stomp because of how much emotional investment you put into it. If you get stomped out for that game one, you know, you just, you can brush it off. You know, a bad, bad map for us. We played it pretty poorly. Let's reset for this one. But if you, if you lose at 13 to 11, there's always those, those what ifs in your mind that what if I made this play? What if I traded that kill out? That would have been a different map, but yep. really it comes down to a good team to reset themselves no matter the situation, to be able to keep themselves on the straight and narrow, keep themselves on the on the course they need for victory. And we'll see if they have a, what a, they see. Let's see that we've, if I can speak, we'll see if they have a, what it takes here, Cat. How do you it feel was, going into this game too? I believe this one's Bind, correct? No, nah, this one's Breeze, brother. This one's Breeze. Wait, it's Breeze. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, close. Close, but not quite, brother. Close, but not quite. I see that there uh, was a, not a breeze in your room clearly because uh the jacket came off so uh <laughs> so you might want to throw that thing back on so we're going to get into uh some nice winds going on but it's a tropical environment so you know maybe maybe you do keep it off maybe you chill on the chill on the beach the white shirt to change you know i like the look uh hopefully my girlfriend's not out there because uh sh sh she'll be yours brother come on like don't do me like that but uh yeah ball state was that close <laughs> man they were they were that close and i actually i absolutely feel you there like to get that close and then not only were they that close in round score but they were that close to stopping the fuse too tn stepped mm. out a drop killed one just couldn't quite get it on the swing and that is always so tough to see from who was playing the chamber in that map now he's moving all the way over so i'm gonna play the jet instead thinking about it okay that's not real that's not a real pick he's baiting me don't even worry about it we shall stay both baiting both baiting a little bit here. None of them are playing Yurus. There's just no way. Uh, unless Ethos has snuck into the collegiate space. I don't think he's there yet, though. I think I, I still think he's chilling on NRG, having a good time, living his life. So 
yeah there, there we go the baits will go away the rain will be interesting to see you get the ko already so we can't hit him with the the classic ko's is a better reina situation they're thinking about it they're thinking about it we'll give them their time well, I'd be really surprised to see Ball State go for the zero duelist composition here. Yeah, there it is. The Jet lock-in, uh, as to be expected. Jet, a lot of great angles she can play on this map. Almost feels a staple. We're playing. We're not playing with the Jet nerfs, so uh, we still have a, we still have a, the classic dash. Jet still strong as ever. And to, how do you feel about those nerfs, uh, Cat? Honestly. After looking at them, I really thought the nerfs would be a lot more devastating to Jet than uh, what they are. The wind-up time for the E is not really uh, not really as as long as I was thinking at first. Yeah, I don't think it means much, to be honest. I don't think there'll be any difference at all. Lockins that come through us, that timer does run out for Wichita State. It means we'll get a, uh, a clean matchup that'll be all about who's better, Tristan. Everything is Ooh, indeed cipher. the same going into this one. Yeah, uh, Cypher over Chamber does seem to be the uh, only difference in these two team compositions, so that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, Chamber obviously having the uh, the ability to take some crazy angles can really uh, double up with the operators alongside the jet. can be really oppressive if uh, the Chamber really gets rolling here. But, um, I mean, Cypher, Cypher obviously in this B site... Can't, can't even flex around the map at times, but there's just mm -hmm. so many different little trap setups you can make. A good cipher is always terrifying to deal with. It's one of those. It's one of those really. Uh, you wouldn't think it at first. Very high skill cap agent. That can yeah. be devastating when played when played to the the fullest extent. So I'm gonna be paying a lot of attention to this cipher, and how he holds down a site. Pizzasaurus was doing great in the chamber last time around, and for him to not go back to the chamber him to pivot to the cypher for this map he must have something up his sleeve and already with that nerdy camera angle you're seeing he's got he's got a thing or two planned dark broke early allows them to take that middle of the map space which does state they played so very slow on the pistol on fracture as well so not surprised to see them go back to what is this very slow default in terms of pistol now here map number two of breeze I love to see teams that actually take the pistol seriously because sometimes you see just they run it down. They go, okay, this round's going to be what it is. It's pistols anyway. It's less utility. Who cares? I love to see teams actually take the time invest into it because, I mean, you win pistol, you usually win the round afterwards. That's You win both pistols, that's four rounds already to your total. And that can be the difference between winning and losing games, especially when we saw game one get as close as it was at 13-11 scoreline. So to have those four rounds is something you definitely want to take. And having all the mid control oh. will be Truman. Good to find the first part. We're going to get caught in that rotation inside. There's the first pickup for this team, now looking to reconsolidate over towards that A-site through mid -door. Look at this, Wichita State just playing the rotations, picking them apart. Oh no, Tien actually whiffs the shot. He's gonna get taken down. Pizzasaurus just wide swings him, runs him down. And now look at this camera angle. He has full vision of this mid rotation. Look at the lurk. They have people on every angle right now. Truman going through spawn. They should hear him coming. Just sees the gun poking out. Bridge not going to be needed. The rest of the team cleans it up. It's 1-0. Wichita State, a dominant first round. I, li I love the discipline there, too. Gets a pick, immediately falls back. Yep. Does not risk giving back over the trade. Pizzasaur is there to trade out his teammate. Could have been messy if Tian got the second one. But they cross their T's, they dot their I's in Wichita State. They get themselves another pistol round. And like you were talking about, I mean, pistol rounds are so important. In a game like Valorant, where every round counts, being able to pick up a, a, a round that kind of spirals into the next one, spills into it with the Econ, it's so valuable. So that K push trying to come through the zero point. Shuts that one down pretty early. So two will walk through hallway instead. Ball State's still going to oh, keep that huge. aggression. Into what is there? You go. They're gonna grab one. Recon to come through. Gene with the trade. It's probably gonna fall. T will find another, and there's kills all across the map here. This defensive side tries to f force that issue up towards cave. Backed off it now. It's that rotation going to steam its way through. J Crow oh. looking for more down through cave. Barely able to get away before the reswing comes through to CT. Viper five oh. HP. That's that close, but not quite, Tristan. No cigar here. Viper and Sova are both one shot right now. It's got to be up to Pizzasaurus to really hunker down here. Two players. How many weapons do they actually uh, pick up off of these kills? But Kava, the headshot. 
takes out the most important player because Jay Corn was hit up there. Jeem hears him mid as well. He's going to have full information here. Even baits him out just a little, playing with his food right now. Honestly. No. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. I was about to say, that wasn't I was actually the shock star that did it. Yeah, if he's going to sing through off the containment from Jeem, will force him to come back, make sure the team can stay alive for free. Look at the flank there, but uh, sometimes you just got to. You got to show him a little bit. Got to swirl the noodles on the fork. It's yeah, well. Jeem honestly could have just walked there and killed him for free, but, yep. you know. Sometimes you just got to do a little dance. Show him a little leg, you know? Mmm. A little a stanky leg? A stanky. A little stanky leg, yes, sir. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I mean, they also get Hit the it one possibility time. where uh, if he does turn around, Jeem dies there. So that he's one shot. So there's, uh, there's no chances there. It's guaranteed that he stays alive and gets that kill to go with it as well. Well said, put players back towards you that A side of things. They walk cameras, too by the way. You seeing these? Oh, I'm I'm seeing them, and they're, they're seeing things. Oh. Speaking of which, Ian pushes very far forward. Gets himself out of dodge, wisely enough. The team knows you're that far forward. You could end up free pickings through some good utility usage. A mid space starts to get reclaimed. The drone will come through mid window spots to poison orb. Doesn't quite see that jet close, but does have information on that chamber or that KO rather that's sitting over towards orange. So a lot of offensive value utility to be had. being used though. Like not not getting a sight take off of that drone is pretty big because it's a lot of credits and a big uh, big piece nice. of utility off the table. But Tian just walks himself into the crosshairs. Pizza Saurus is having a great game so far. Just a few rounds in. Still early days, but. Good start you want to see for the Cypher pick. I know exactly where you are. Just press off that zero point. Let's try to take some space Ooh, off of it. He's got oh, one right jump up. Left. Mm. Yeah, catch from the cave. Space now taken from sight. The patience which saw has paid off. She will be up close to the first level Spectre. Exactly where he wants to be for the wow. spray. We'll swing those straight into Ian and will fall. Okay, on the flank though, CT. Oh no, this is disastrous. Headshots there. Last one's position has been seen. Ball state. This is a bonus for Wichita, by the way. That doesn't really seem like a bonus as Truman picks up his third. This man was the star of the last map, and he is rolling so far on Breeze. I love the patience from Wichita State all throughout the series, but all throughout this round. Oh. Tian comes through on the info peak, didn't get swung by the drone, so says, okay, I'm going to be able to take this space, and I can know that I'm here, and ends up swinging directly into danger, kind of the same way we just saw the Sova swing into danger as well. Ethan's able to get all the way around towards CT, because they do take that space, jump up, and get that initial pick, getting them into the site. They are so patient, they play it so slow, and Ball State yeah. says, we need info somehow, so they eventually have to go for that manual info gather, and when they do go for it, in terms of actual bodies, they get fragged, it allows for that space to get made, even though it wasn't made off the initial utility from Wichita State as they throw that utility and cut noise. Yeah, there's a lot of value to just playing slow in this game. Just being able to draw out all the utility. Not knowing can make a lot of teams uh, jump. And that can uh, really result in some major advantages there. Swooty, we'll get the tag on one. No shock darts though to actually force him out of the corner, so... He's just gonna have to live with it. One out mid, Pizza Saurus. He's back again. How many times have we seen him on the scoreboard? As Kaba also gets his own entry. Jeem, another headshot. They're all piling up. It's a sea of red in the kill feed, and it won't be stopped. A perfect round from Wichita State as they start to gain momentum more and more. It was just an eco, but still, even on an eco, that feels amazing. Yeah, it is the eco round, so not too much point in this one. This is the thing about not having the chamber. A lot of the time, you see it does go down to the B side, and it's a trademark that initially doesn't allow early access. All they get the Viper toxic screen there, it's put a little bit sideways, so they're able to just walk themselves in. They get ladder control for free, which is one of the hardest elements of the site to take. And once you take ladder, you can get all the way through to back castle, and then you basically clear the whole site. So it takes them one toxic screen to get that spacing to walk into ladder. Since there's no util to worry about there, they're able to keep swinging their way through. Though again, that is the ball state eco, so they don't have a ton of util to work with in the first place. They obviously don't have firepower, so Ian's not going to feel comfortable taking that fight over towards ladder. And if he, even if he did, realistically in that round, he's getting rolled by just the, the prowess of those rifles. So that kind of ends up being what it is, but ball state Let's slow down here, take this time out, say, okay, we're back to our gun round. Let's switch things up a little bit. Wouldn't hate to see them switch up some agents because uh, right now... Just kind of just kind of giving space away. Wichita State is rolling forward. They're taking space and then resting on what they have and then taking sights off of what is early aggression from Ball State, what is early looks. I need to brush up on my terminology because I honestly didn't know that was called ladder or castle. And I... 
And I was pushing, I was pushing for, um, I was pushing for, for my immortal rank before the season ended. And one thing I learned is, man, there's so many, people have so many different calls for the same things in this game sometimes. Yeah. It is, it's kind of funny too, because this is the one game where uh, Riot actually puts the calls on the map. Yeah. And yet, for some reason, it feels like in, in a game like Counter-Strike, they actually have more of a consensus on what these callouts are. Oh, look at Tien just plowing through the dart. He actually has such an advanced position right now. They have no idea this jet is here. If they re-aggress, they could just get shot to bits. Luckily, the rotations actually end up spiraling out. There's four members stacked on A right now for Ball State. They could just be getting completely outmaneuvered here right now. The question is, is Ian hear any of this? Or Ian, they haven't switched things up. They still kept that chamber over onto the A side, which means they still don't have they any of the trademarks going through to B. Yeah, they took the timeout, but they didn't really change anything. If anything, they just, instead of moving a player inside on quick rotate, they put everybody into A instead. They really run heavily into this A stack. And unfortunately, they're going to come up short-sided on that one because all they've got this poison cloud. They're able to walk right through. They've got ladder already. They've got sight. Ian's back wall is the only one there. He's gone. Sight's open. They've got it for free. Plant's going to go down. And yeah, you took a full minute to think. And well, do, what happened? You play checkers? Here. Oh, no. Tian will get the first one mid, but there's a second late lurk there. I don't think he sees this one coming. He's got one. The second right around the corner. Jeem swings out for it. Of course he does. He's Jeem. It's the reason they put him on the neon. He's never afraid to take a fight. He's got three in the round. One player left. It's Parker. 1v4. Just not meant to be. The question is, does he hang on to this gun? Sitting around the corner. t may just walk into his crosshair here. Little jiggle there, but gets decapitated. question is, does Parker actually try and move out here? He's getting... Gotta play with right now. Nearly gets another, but Jeem's got a 4k on the round. 30 yep. HP to end it off. Right My life for the horde. Either way, it's 5 to 0. They had enough money to buy up. They knew that. They could throw a few guns mm -hmm. to the wind if it meant getting it off of Parker, and they do just that. Parker now, his economy is looking pretty rough here. And you can see Tien doing what he can, but I mean, do you ever expect the second player to be bottom mid when they're all on the site Surely like that? Not. It's just like, what more can he do there? You can die. You can go next round. Oh. Uh, that's what happens. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Just stay. We'll move over into hallway here. Listen, too early. We're going to do the op, and then team will come forward as well. That op back on the other side of things. We're also not going to find Whoa, the value. Whoa. Look at this guy. Oh, very nearly. Playing with a, fire on this angle. Oh, beautiful. Sinks it right in the forehead. Players being spotted out mid here, but they've already gotten two picks for Ball State. This could be just what they needed. How many times have we seen this, too? Teams can't find any momentum, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, on a thrifty, they start to pick it up. And now Wichita State is just stuck in their their own spawn right now, hoping that someone overextends. They're trying to guard these weapons, make sure that no one can get access to them for free. But disciplined play by Ball State not throwing away lives when they know they have the advantage. I like that switch from Ball State. It's scary for future rounds that aren't this eco because all that Viper utility gets moved over and they don't have it for that B side hold, but they come down through the toxic screen so where you can't easily cross the mid door and they send everybody, they send the Viper and the jet up so they can Ooh, take some wow. space. They make sure that mid control isn't as easy to grab. They can't just get that X unit at A. We'll take it now from Cave instead though. Do you need to find the first to open up options towards Mo? Oh! Are you kidding me? He's got three. This never should have Hunter happened. Hunter's Fury in this round? Completely isolated out of this round. The bomb goes down. Smoothie gets nothing Ooh, but the Hunter's Fury. No weapons picked up either. It's disciplined play earlier, but it's coming back to haunt them. Jeem's got four. This is his ace. Last player is there. The headshot is there. It's five on the round for Jeem. This man is an absolute maniac. Wichita State had no business winning that round. But when they find themselves in a bad spot, Gene bails them out. And he did it all by his lonesome. He didn't need utility to set him up. He was taking bad fights that he had no business winning. And just tit for tat. Is that it? Bing bong, thank you, ma'am. Pete Davidson. Right F your life. Right here. Bing bong. Yeah, the confidence of the upgraded utility 
comes through for Dream to feel comfortable enough to take those Vandal fights and win every single one of them. I like the mid-pressure we saw from Ball State, but it is those downgrade great utility and then just Dream making a play, man. Lars for the come through early B. Boys. Shut down options as long as the Viper sits here in said cloud. We should all stay going back to that tempo. They don't see the jet with the operator just yet. Oh, now they do. That shot just whizzed by. Here. Jim Lucky. Tian's not really finding a lot of success with some of these op holds, though. He's gonna need to. He's gonna need to get some of these early picks when they're giving him these peaks. They're not using utility to clear the operator. I mean, they're using utility to clear the operator, but he snuck around it. If your teammate is shooting the drone for you like that, it's because he's trying to set you up. He's trying to bait for you. Look how Wichita State controls the map as well. Choking off information. Swooty now has no utility left, and he hasn't really gained much of an idea as to what's going on. He doesn't know how many people are here. And now that he's smoked off, he has to rotate back around. He's not going to be able to provide Ian any support for quite some time here. He swings left. back around to Arches, but he just gets clotheslined. They're not even bothering to deal with this Viper's Pit. They're just maneuvering around it. And Ian is so terrified right now. He's so busy trying to survive in his Viper's Pit that he doesn't realize the rest of his team is being siphoned off right now. Cobb has got another. He will eventually get put down by the Tour de Force, but look at Parker. He has no idea where the rest of the team is. We'll take the time to stabilize the core, but instead, here comes Sova! And Sova forces him out into the open, kills the Resurrector. Three again for Jim. This man is getting a two-piece and a soda on every round. Let me ask you two questions, Tristan Cass, while this replay rolls. Yes, sir. They're, you, know, you, don't really have, you don't have to feel like they're questions for you. You know, you, you can call them just rhetorical if you'd like to. But I just want, I, I want to ask, at what point does Ball State stop solo holding B? And at what point do they put somebody mid? Because we saw them play mid on the eco. It stopped the ability for Wichita State to maneuver them out for free. It set down mid door, shut down their option to go tunnel. And they almost won that round, and that was the eco. But every other round has been playing everybody A, one or playing three A, one hallway for quick rotation, and then there's just nothing there on the B site. Ian just just walked up through into this round. We'll get caught by the flank hole, which is Pizzasaurus. That's one gone early. Once again, is eco, so he kind of lets him flack fly yet again. Viper could to go down to ensure things. You will find a two K classic for the entry for the Sova. Tisa will find one as well. Tian will be on a very late flank. 1v5, Pisasaurus has moved away, so they got some space to work with. First kill has come through. He's not getting the find four more, though. Look how yeah, fast not getting Wichita that State reacts to. When one, one of them goes down, the rest of the team just swarms you like, a, like an ant colony or something. It's a single hive mind right now at Wichita State. And they're all just fighting off each other for the good for the good of the community. They are just making sure that no man goes unanswered for. Okay, you can look, tell. There's somebody mid. Two people mid. I like this. See what it is able to offer. Tina will have a gun this go around. We'll move all the way up towards elbow early. So Ball State are picking up the pace just a little bit. Trying to shut down what Whoa. has been Wichita State theory crafting for half the round before their execute actually comes through. One will sit towards heaven, so they got that cross in a tunnel covered as well. Elbow seeing nothing. The Vipers move down as well, so that is all the help going to come be. All the info gathered quite early to go with it. Wichita State will have mid, but all they've really got is that mid-door side of things. As long as they keep this KO alive, they should be good to go. Parker will find one from Cave as well. Okay. Let's see if Coach Cat's setup here proves to be more successful for Ball State. Already, I mean, they got the first pick. That's more than you can say for a lot of these other rounds. Standing ahead. So I'll take the advice of Coach Cat any day of the week. Tietzen now. Elevated position here, making himself hard to hit. Doesn't get too much off of it. Here. But information has been established for both sides. Pizza Source is aware. Ian's somewhere around this general vicinity. He's hoping he walks right into his crosshairs, which Ian just might do. Get out of my way. 30 seconds left. Oh, so close. His head just poking out. 
He's gonna get pinged out here, but do they expect Tien on the site? He's been on A for many of he these hasn't rounds been here so a far. Single round. He hears them all. It's one. Exactly oh, look at the way he plays with him. That peak was beautiful. Jeep gets a collateral. Two headshots on two bullets. I don't even know if he meant to hit the second guy there. And it all crumbles for Ball State. Tyson even gets another. If only Parker left, he will get an off shot, but they might just run him down. They know this operator is valuable. They know they have money to throw away. For now, they're just holding in Troom and puts him down. Well, I wouldn't even go for that if I were Parker. I mean, good luck with the 1v3 with how locked down Ball St or, uh, Wichita State has been on these defenses. If Jean is still alive, I wouldn't even expect to, to even get close to that site, honestly. And look how, look how they peek Tien exactly here. Can you even blame Tien for that? I Am mean, I you allowed get to call that unlucky? Like, you get, you get jiggled on, on a, on a, uh, like a rush entry, and then Jet just goes flying over your head with knives? I mean, I, it's, that's such I a difficult way to hold. really feel like he got jiggled. I feel like they just kind of walked into the angle. I feel like they already thought ladder would be clear, and he just kind of reacts. Can you see Paul's knife out to go take back castle yet again? And he just kind of like walks back because he sees that there is an opponent there. I think it's just honestly, I hate to say, I think it might have just been unlucky for the boy. Yeah, Tyson, the wall goes down. He's stuck in the front lines. There's so many people here though. Ball State just trying to let these sheriffs do their job. Oh but Truman God. through the wall. He doesn't need to see you to kill you. He's going to make himself hard oh. to hit. And Pizzasaurus collects. He reaps the reward 10 to 0. I never would have seen this one coming heading into this map with how close and competitive Fracture was. Wichita State just has a stranglehold on this map right now. You even see Tyson, he gets demolished on this initial pick, but Truman is omnipresent right now. And it seems, I mean, why does he even have a guardian here? The guy can afford any gun he wants. Is he just, is he just for funning it? Well, it was Ball State's map pick, too. This is Ball State's map pick? Yeah. Uh, boy. Uh, boy. Hey, okay, well, they get a pick early. TN will find one with the Oppo Sheet drone down as well. It's not some space for now. Toxic Screen is going to be in his way, and they actually have used that to their favor. Okay. to get the TN will not let them get much further. Schumann caught with a body shot. The rest of the team can't play through because it's a snake bite, so... 13-10. 13-10. Orbit we'll smoke across. Shots through. The Viper will start the cross. We'll make it as well. Fight currently going down into yeah. mid. This is an awkward little fight here. Good TP. God, look how confident Pizzasaurus is. Just stand there and start tapping away at the, TP, uh, at the TP. He could have gotten swung there at any time, but he just stands out in the open. He's in their head. Got him over leaves. Ridiculous shot there onto Tien. Ian wants to trade it back out, but he just doesn't have the angle and he doesn't want to give over another off shot. Pizzasaurus now using that trap to try and get himself a position here. Oh, timing. All oh, the head poking out. There's two players there. Can't get himself out of harm's way before Parker swings left. back out. They should be able to get onto this B site if the trades go well. But even then, it's an if, a but, and a maybe. The first round, Ball State is on the board, baby. There is no shutout here. 13-10. 13-10. I believe. They play much more aggressively yet again. This time around, they've got the utility to do it. We've seen them start to play aggressively and start to snowball rounds into their favor. But that was with Sheriff's in hands, right? This time around, they actually have weapons going into this one. Tien's able to peek through with the Operator to start it off towards B main. Able to find that frag. Dashes away. Finds a second as well on a nice clean flick onto Truman. And from there, Ian sits right. ladder feeling more confident about it because they have one. That screen that's going a lot deeper. That's getting decays going in initially. But is also... Having a vandal in his hand, so it has the chance to actually spray down and it allows him to come through to find the final frags to win out that round. That's something they haven't been able to really put together on their gun rounds. It's the first time we get to see it happen. Team will find one early cave. That's the lurk, though. Into sight yet again is B. So there's, there's no presence, there's no pressure for him, so they're going to try to play for the retake instead. Yeah, a bit of a gamble stack on A, just assume that Wichita State will get too spooked to go back to B, but really, I mean, why get spooked when you've already won so many rounds B? That round that you lost was more of a, an exception than the rule. As we see Truman now just taking... One sticks back castle. ...wide angles. But look, they slowly start to get pinched in on, on all sides. Ian now, he's going to try and walk up, but he just gets mowed down. Tyson now, he's going to need to revive. A bit of an early Hunter's Fury, but we'll catch one. 
could just take him out of the round here, but Tian manages to avoid it. It's a 1v2 now. Oh, it's close as ever, but this is going to be so difficult. I mean, the guard is there. They're both swinging at the same time. It's going to take a nice little spray transfer in Jeem. That, I mean, you know, who cares about KDA? She was 20 and 2, by the way. He was 20 and 2 before he did that. That those numbers are not are are not normal. One enemy remaining. Especially on a non-duelist pick. I mean, you don't really see this very often. You see maybe 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 Trent from the guard, he can put up these kind of numbers on a Soba pick. But uh I can't put up these numbers on any pick. <laughs> Hey, so to talk down on yourself, this man is a platinum player. That's top what? Like top 20% of players? No way. No way it's that high. It's something like that, yeah. Mm, can't be. Plat is surprisingly, uh, like, sparse compared to some of the other ranks in this game. No word. Spares. Spares. Uh, uh, Al in mid, if you will. Players will step Ooh. through mid door, but Tian has killed two of them. Looking for the third to go third. with him. It's a cleanup from the wow. Jed into mid. Good pitch coming from Wichita State. They look to have Ooh. it all control, but it's chaos instead. Another 105 dink to go down to Pizza Source, who's sitting to CT. Suddenly feeling a lot less safe about what is this stairs peak for him. Four on two and player 13 count. 11. 13 11. Ball State taking it home. That's all I get. Last player standing. Oh, a little over the head. for his ace. Look at Curry, so inspirational. Five on the round. Tian does it all. Get in his backpack. Despite a shaky start to the map, Tian is starting to heat up here. The only one positive on his team right now. 14 and 12. The next highest with only six kills. His ace this round is nearly his second highest fraggers overall scoreline. It's a bit depressing to think about, really, but like I, you know, we always say here, every comeback starts with a single round. Yeah, we do say that. I've heard that before. What kind of odds would you give someone on uh, on comebacks here? If someone were to, if someone were to bet you ten dollars on eleven two, yeah, what kind of odds are you giving someone? What is it, like ten to one odds? I, I can't give you an answer, but I, not crazy. Not crazy odds, I'm, I'll be honest. We shall stay once again. We'll send everybody towards mid, but ready to wait for them is going to be none other than T and the man who just grabbed an ace, and he's good for one Ooh. early. Oh, this this shenanigan coming through the toxic screen with the shorty in hand. Player getting caught towards Cubby. They flash, they clear as well. Cabo will come through <laughs> off of the play to grab one, and I mean, that's really all you're looking for there with that shorty. So you get it. Truman will find one Ooh, through tunnel with second. the marshal. Already two down guns down. Player. That's that's this is not bad damage. But really at this point, I mean damage doesn't mean as much because Ball State can't really be affording to lose rounds anyway, so they're gonna have to convert this bonus one way or another. Tien. Put himself in a cute little angle here. Nice little crossfire setup. Truman, I mean Truman is also just disgusting right now. Him and Jeem, I, I I would hate to be on the receiving end of either one of these guys because they are just so scary. I mean, look at Truman. Flips around, hits a quick shot before going down there. I mean, that's that's insanely hard to do. This guy's playing on some pretty high sensitivity is what it looks like. Truman and Jeem combining for 33 so far over just 14 rounds. Really impressive stuff coming out here. Get out of my way. A combined KDA of 33 and 10, mind you. So done it, doing it efficiently as well. No stat padding here. No Russell Westbrook. Kidding. Here. Westbrook fans, don't don't maul me. It's too late. Truman, just drop there. They should hear this though. I mean, there's already people turning around. Does manage to get. One for his troubles. Tyson as well here. Sees the gun poking out. He's going to get himself a freebie. Wichita State. Oh, Tien is just the difference maker. He's just better. 
two quick knives to make this a 2v2 when it looked so poor for them at first. They know one player is uh, aiming as well, so they're just going to push together. I like this play. And you can tell Kaba is... He's wary of it. But just not present enough. Tien's got three. The man to do it time and time again for his team is called upon yet again. Playing it slow though. Information denial here. Now they're going to see him. Now they're going to hear him. The knife goes out. Oh, he gets the headshot. Down to a 1v1. 45. He's going to have to tap the bomb again. Goes for half, but Swooty, he thinks better of it. He knows your tricks, he knows your games, and he won't give you any free real estate. 4-11, to 11, Ball State, squeaked that one out by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, no time to not hold there. No time to push either. Truman to come through, try to make a huge flank play happen. And that Cloudburst comes through. It does smoke off that trademark to allow him some space work with. Also means no slow to come through. Doesn't spot him, but of course, you're throwing a Cloudburst against three players who are sitting chop shop they're going to hear it and that they do so they're able to come back they're able to swing and they have a three-on-one advantage there but truman does find some value able to grab one for their troubles but it's around convert from ball state a big round for them to win drum will come through early should catch these players with time to play towards cave it's oh, both he's coming through rather quick wait what but true from cycling no, he's here. with the marshal he he well. grabs two to go with it what? looking for one more nah no how do you? The drone saw him. Yeah, what yeah, you, yeah. What are you muted? Sitting, what did you mute Truman your team on back Discord? Back site. Truman sitting back A-side with that Marshall who grabs two, and there's chaos in that swing, right? Because the call there is for those five players to all go swing t because they know that he's close. You saw the swing start to happen as they hyper focus on to that KO who's up close. Truman hits two from the front of sight, and the K players all go, "Whoa, whoa, wait a minute!" The swing starts to turn around, and Tyson's able to get two for free. But you don't, you don't even have to expose yourself to main there for that swing. That's you do if you're down cave. He was at an angle where you could just, you could just, you don't have to swing that far. You can literally just, just fucking, oh, sorry, uh, apologies there. I, I'm, <laughs> that just tilted me to watch, man. You, ha you don't have to swing out that far. You don't have to expose yourself there. Just, just get the free kill. The drone saw him. Swoody peeks out. He gets headshot. Uh, the free kill. Ball State, you saw him. And the and the the nah, chamber. Nah, nah, nah. We'll the a, chamber we'll was the first okay, one to peek we'll out get there. A replay. We'll get a he doesn't replay. even look there. He doesn't we'll even look the right 30%. direction. Percent. We'll walk back through it. I'll, I'll tell Someone you replay what it. Happened. Someone replay I'll tell you what it. I, I am so play it in 30%. Disturbed. We'll take a look at it, right? <laughs> the drone okay, yes, yeah, hold on, hold on, Tristan. It. Yes, it sees him, right? The two players' cave are going to swing Tyson, right? Where are you looking? The shot because they're sh oh my goodness, man. Just okay, there's just, there's a difference, yes. From our point of view, this looks bad. You're right. You're completely correct. They should swing the chamber there, but as soon as the martial shots start from sight. The chamber turns back and looks towards the Marshall player because that is now the new call being made, right? It's a chaotic moment because Tien's able to play off the pocket. But what do you expect to happen? What do you, do you expect the guy just to not shoot you in the back of the head when you walk out like that? Like, you're, you're just... You're just walking... You're just walking... Like, I'm just you telling you play, what he's thinking play. in his head as a player who plays collegiate. I just know what it looks like. This is match point, man. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I am frazzled. Apologies to those watching at home for my potty mouth in such a situation, but... Oi. If that ever ha- I, I'm a, As a Sova one trick, if that ever happens to me, I, I see someone with my dart or my, my drone playing close like that, and they just ignored and died to the back of the head. You're getting a special red red honor for me. For sabotage. Beats the source oh, down. Oh, a 3k in the spray down. I don't think he meant to get that third player there. But things just work out sometimes. Wichita State now. 3v2 if you're not counting the Kale who's downed right now. But Parker in the back of the site. He's got something to say about it. A headshot for himself. 
just kind of jiggling about. They're playing off of each other, off the pillar. This is essentially 1v1 now. Parker versus Kubba. He goes for the spray down and he just gets mauled. Kubba is that much better. The headshot to close it out for Wichita State. 13 to 4. We saw the beginnings of momentum for Ball State, but it just gets shut down. And that's going to be it for Breeze. Man, oh man, have has Wichita State start to set themselves apart here? Really a, a great closeout to what could have been scary there. We've seen crazy comebacks, especially in a map like Breeze. I believe it was uh, it was Optic. I don't remember if they were... I, I know I'm quoting a lot of Optic games, uh, but I'm, I'm a... What can I say? I'm an NA fanboy. This Masters was a lot of fun to watch. And they had a map like, uh, like on Breeze where they were down significantly and had to mount a ridiculous comeback to get themselves back into it. We saw it from the guard as well when they were versus Optic. This is a map where you can really get that momentum building and you can bring yourselves out of some really bad situations. So for the for Wichita State to be able to shut it down like they did, that's great news for them. And they're up 2-0 now. That first map being close, that second one not so much. Where is the confidence right now for Ball State? What are you what are you talking about when you're back to the locker room? How do you make this reverse sweep happen? Well, something you definitely have to find before you get into that next map. But uh yeah, certainly not the way you want to see those first two maps go we talk about the fact that it's hard to mount comebacks when you come through and your map one is that close i mean it's a two round deficit of 13 11 scrolling on fracture you almost take your opponent's map pick then they come back on your map pick of breeze they take you 13 4 that definitely doesn't feel good especially for a team that just didn't really like defensively they could find an answer for mid control ever like they had an answer for b control for most of the game and the only real rounds that it felt like were close for them other than the rounds they won of course where their ecos ironically is where they kind of felt the confidence because the round didn't matter as much but it just felt like there's a lot of pressure for them in their defensive half when it came to actually having utility to work with it didn't feel like they felt confident in terms of their gunfights we never saw them take the close corner angles on a b and i mean from there it's just things never really came to fruition for them but now we've got fracture breeze out the way we'll go towards haven a map that is uh is much more common is much more fundamental mm. uh less cheese to be had onto it and they're also it's just an older map it's been here longer and we'll see if that's something that you're able to take through for your ball state to come back and jive yet again but we'll have to come back after break to find out so in a couple minutes we'll be back with the grand finals is a 3-0 sweep for wichita state that first seed or the second seed come back swinging we'll have to find out
Still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, count for them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two wrists, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, call my phone, I be like, who this, damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new, smell like can too, I'm fresh forever like canned food, try and tell me what I can't do, I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu, that mean I got goals, that's real big, foes, that's real big, y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big, coming into the ring with blows, that's real big, I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, jobs, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying a little. Oh my God, it's real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, it's real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. 
And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Welcome back, one and all, to the ECAC Conference. We are here with the Grand Finals of Valorant. It is 2-0. It is series point right now for the first seed, Wichita State University. Ball State just got... Just got beat up 13-4 on their own map pick of Breeze. Can they find it out of the depth? Can they climb back up the mountain here on Haven? If they can, they got to start it now. Three, eight, three sites? They need three maps to come back reverse sweep. Yeah, and I mean, if, if the ball is going to get rolling anywhere, it's going to start with Haven. This map is just so different from the ones they've had so far. It's a lot older. They've had more time to, to practice on it, more time to scrim on it. Um, just the the angles you're taking are so different from Breeze and the utility usage. Breeze is one of those maps where you can really get squeezed. You can really get the life sucked out of you with how much map control can be taken um, over this over the 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 period of a round. But Haven, I mean, these these there's a lot more likely that it's going to be a quick hit. It's a lot more likely that you can gain a lot of your own information off of your utility and just scrap it out. So really, uh, I like I like Ball State's chances on this map a lot better than I like them on Breeze. And we'll see if they have what it takes to really reset their mental and get themselves back into this series and to make sure it's not another 3-0 because as much as I love a good a good uh stomp out, we I've I've had enough of that with uh you know Masters ending in that. I'd like to see it go to a game five. I don't know if you have any League of Legends viewers in the chat, but another 3-0 with the EG Hundred Thieves series. We're getting three O's everywhere. I, I love I you know, it's fun to see an occasional uh, stomp out series, but I'd like to see this one go a little bit longer. Oh, absolutely. And we'll get a switch up here on the fact that we've got BSU Ball State starting on the attacking side. They start on defense. Both goes around. And they've really been working their best to try to get that extra control. But I really just felt like, especially on Breeze, it just wasn't quite there for them in terms of mid, in terms of the B site. So let's go around. They start on the attacking side. A breath of fresh air for them. And hopefully that will elevate them forward to get sort of round lead before halftime swap. But... See that case ends up being as Truman yet again played that breach on fracture coming now into the jet roll for these next two maps was on breeze looks like going to be on Haven as well be the omen pickup from both teams double initiators to be seen yet again let's go around will be the breach sky combination for Wichita State it will be the sky Sova combination for ball state two jets to be had at this map, I mean, it's been jet chamber all the way through. You get those extra angles, you get extra peaking, and you get those get out of jail free options. You get the rendezvous, you get yourself the tailwind, your the dash agent. to get out of dodge. So, no surprises if that ends up being the call. Wichita State, I would not be surprised to see this get locked in. Don't really know what you'd change up. Yeah, um, and Jay Corn to note, he had a particularly underwhelming map too when he was off of the sky. So, I'm really happy to see him back on the sky for Haven. I believe his impact is a lot better when he has the opportunity to set himself up for some of these plays with some of these sky flashes around these close angles so uh i think jay corn will definitely be a lot more consistent now that he's on one of his uh more played agents and that being said we're heading into this one jets on both sides no surprise there difference in composition though there's a silver one side a breach another other than that everything seems to be lined up we'll see how much these uh these small little differences in team compositions actually come into play here. Not having a Sova on Haven, though, you're you're denying yourself uh, quite a bit of uh, information there. Hopefully the Sky can make up for it, but let's be real here. The Dog is not nearly the same as a drone and as the arrow lineups. But, I mean, you always have that X-Factor with Breach. The Rolling Thunder can single-handedly win you rounds. Yeah, then you'll be able to play a lot quicker to go with it. it makes it a little bit more difficult on your defensive side going in as well but if you're able to find picks off your own demise and if you're able to use that breach utility effectively to stop pushes it should be all right 
We'll see, that was all about how you use that composition based on what is in it. And the ball state are going to look to head early into grass. They've already flashed it through garage. Nothing to be found. And the Omen going to look to take that space. A flash to come through C long as Ooh. well. Wish Dostate should have the info. The Omen's in for a lot of work early A. Oh, what a shot. Kaba starts things off right. And I love that he just evacuates the site. Takes the 4v5. Doesn't need to doesn't need to really cost his own life for it. Knows that he's overwhelmed. He doesn't have a lot of teammates there Kaba just yet. Out. But there are several flankers to come in. Luckily for Ball State, they do have the chamber traps. And Ian just waiting on the lurk. He gets himself a nice little kill there. Tyson does have the flank himself. But he's not able to put Ian okay. down just yet. Instead, he holds 22 HP. A nice dink before he gets dropped. That's valuable. 3v4 now as they try and head back onto the site. Parker will try and stop Pizzasaurus as he wants to hop out heaven, but Jaycorn is just playing with him as for now. Here comes Smoothie, and he is coming for that 4k. He'll have it. Ball State get themselves a very valuable pistol. And that could have turned to disaster, but Swooty just hits his shots when they need him the most. Yeah, apparently it comes through onto the chamber. They get near sided up close, and it does not even matter as Swooty is the one to get all the work done. The chamber rendezvous away as well to get to stay alive in that one. Kyle was on his way on that flank. Gets caught out. And I mean, from there, it's just clean work done onto the site. And that, that headshot from Ian did come back to, to actually um, really assist him in the round. That, that was a body shot that put the uh, breach down. Maybe if he doesn't get that headshot before Ian drops there, then Swoody never has the opportunity for that 3k. Ooh, that but as they pop out here, that flash is gorgeous. Does get two. A third one on the books, but Ian is able to recuperate. Still, two rifles going down. I like that they're very responsibly juggling them out of play. Not off the map. Far enough that uh should not get discovered by the sky. It's going to be sitting on the B site for right now. Smokes will come through to CT. To guarantee this team has that safe plan. Has that safe rite of passage to the back of the site as well. He still have to work through now this dark cover. We'll have one flash to work with. we only one. And then, of course, just a sheriff in hand as well. First flash out. We'll pop for nothing. So take some space. We'll clear hell as well. Information. Touch a dart to go with it. Finds the first. Is Perker going to fall? 1v2 now. Mm. Okay. I mean, you know what? It's a nice shot, though. Very nice shot, though. Give us a little something to tease us with. Not going to actually get back onto the site very far, but look at that flash. So well done there. They got so much value this round. I mean, taking that many taking that many rifles off of them, take that any day of the week if you're Wichita State. Look for this early flash here from Tyson. Allow for the swing to come through for Truman. You're going to look for the bonus here, Ball State. Two sheriffs. One of the classics, so they're playing very much for next uh -huh. round for Slash to come through. Truman has to get away from that one, but we'll dash into the wall. Cloudburst doesn't cover everything either, so Jaycorn will catch that one. A good flash early for Ball State to take space. You can already tell how comfortable Jaycorn is compared to last last map. Tyson, though, he's going to get one not before he's blinded up. TN, what a ridiculous twist around. I mean, they were walking into a fairly well-guarded site, a fairly solidified site, and still, they just brute-forced their way onto it, and Tien just comes up nuclear there. One more player to find. It's just Kaba trying to creep out through CT and uh, into four. I mean, honestly, you might just want to keep your gun into the next round. I don't see this one working out for you very well. Down, down zero to two, I mean, this is a bonus for Ball State. A bonus that they're going to convert, and a bonus they didn't really buy into either. So they're going to get to take, what, three rifles out of that one? I sure they got the other rifle out. We'll see in a minute, but just come through. They storm their way into the side, and you see the two close contact players try to be aggressive there. The jet and the sky combination up close, one long, one short. Both just go down as those pistols overwhelm them quite quickly. They get 1vx scenarios, and they're able to take them home. That means rifles to be picked up. It means they use those rifles to push the rest of the way through sight. So sometimes you get on those close contact, you feel the advantage because you do have the gun to work with, but some of that advantage ends up being your disadvantage because it makes you feel that confidence where you don't have to move away. And when you don't move away, those pistols can run you down sometimes if they're up close. That was very deep. Sometimes your advantage can become your disadvantage. Sounds like something Bruce Lee would say.
B site, I mean, it's fairly locked down here. Jeem not expecting how many players were there as he tries to move in. This gets torn apart. Now Kaba wants to get through Garage, but they've got every angle covered. Not to be sloppy with their teamwork. Ball State just making sure everyone's taken care of. Truman going to try and jiggle around here. And again, it's Ian. Just making sure that he's not giving up too much. Swoody is holding the angle right now. Have a bit of trouble adjusting it. It's a labored spray, but it works out in the end. Pizzasaurus stuck alone. We'll try and swing out for one. Has to teleport away. I don't see Pizzasaurus getting too much here. They can just back off. So make sure all their rifles are tucked away. And behind this smoke lies certain death. 61 HP. Soon to be zero. Jaycorn makes it so. Four to zero. Ball state. Just making a statement on these opening rounds here. We talked about how, how difficult it is to reset your mental after something as, as heartbreaking as a close loss followed up by a stomping. But they're doing it fantastically here. They're not looking afraid. They're not looking they're not looking like they, they're not willing to take fights. Yeah, I think they've had a much more successful go of things on the attacking side. So to get to start there has been very nice for them. Means they can build that momentum up early into this first half. Then at halftime, they can take that momentum into their defensive side. But Wichita State is going to look to stop that earlier. So they'll have a buy into this round and look to think about things before they do throw in that buy. They'll have Seekers for a retake if they want to make it happen. Same with that Rolling Thunder. So it wouldn't be shocked to see them give a little bit more space into this one. In that round, it really comes down to the fact that Ball State have all that control going forward up into Garden. Jeem comes through on the cross with just no real information yet. Gets caught in said cross, goes down, and then from there, Ball State says, okay, we're coming in, and we know we got the upgraded utility, so we feel pretty comfortable taking the fights. You could see it in the way they took them, and then they won them too, so the confidence was backed up all the way through and through for this team. Sitting on a 4 0 scoreline, feeling pretty dang good right now. Wichita State, if you're going to shut it down, it's got to be here. Lose this one. Eco broke yet again, and you got to go back to the drawing board, back to your Eco, back to another round loss. So this round loss really means two. You don't want to let that happen. Yeah, it's... uh. Pretty doomsday scenario if you end up going down that many rounds, especially to an attacking side on Haven. Uh, but two ultimates available, and they're two important ones. It's the Rolling Thunder and the Seekers. So you can get a lot of information and then use that Rolling Thunder to really uh, make that information sing. Pizzasaurus just going to spray through Garage. He knows there are several players there. Rotates off, but here comes here. the flash. Here comes the dash. Kava's just playing inside the smoke. He's got Tien to contend with, but a quick flick. Gets them onto the site, clean as a whistle, ball state. Now with firm control here, TN playing back site. Plenty of utility to use on this retake though, and a flank coming in as well. Yeah, Cloudburst for the trademark. So Truman's able to step into this space. Two will sit towards garage window, playing a nice little crossfire. Truman's heard the reload, so knows that Sova's gotta be close. Now the retake utility comes through. The Seeker's out first, immediately broken, but only by one. That's a good call there, so allows the Omen to be undetected. we will find one as that dark gets broken. The jump down to come through. Ooh. Parker taken out by Tyson. 1v2 on this retake. Tien trying to hold on to things from Log. Wow, what a retake from Wichita State. I mean, that round looked done and dusted for, for a minute there, but that garage, it got so messy. It got, it got so scrappy, and in the end, Tyson just does a great job of making sure that he gets the maximum value out of every movement there. And Truman, he does get a nice little freebie there. And free gun, by the way. Just right-clicks him. Pops him like a cherry. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I love the slowdown from Wichita State there. It's recognized the fact that we got this retake utility, and we've got Truman coming through on our flank as well. He just snuck through a trademark, so let's wait just a minute here. Then we'll play the Seekers. We'll try to send themselves in. Those Seekers give info that there are going to be two over towards Garage, even though only one shoots. You still know that. He's got to be pretty close. Only one gets destroyed. They're absolutely correct in their prediction. Allows for the jump down to find two. Ball State now will go less onto that default split, more onto the A site. As they sent everybody pretty pretty early into this one. Dog will spot one. Or drone will spot one, rather. Oh, and they're lucky that Truman did not push that because he canceled the drone there while Jet was flanking. Luckily, Jet, a little bit nervous there. And that Hunter's Fury, two kills to entry the site. It's so rare you see that kind of value being yeah. got, uh, being dished out from a Sova ult. But it just works out perfectly. Truman gets a headshot, though. Three to two now. A desperately needed pick to help them even up the numbers just a little bit more. But even then, a lot of ground to make up. Omen does have the paranoia. Depending on how he lines this up, he could blind too. Taking a while to actually put down the smoke though. I'm just 
unresolved on the angle. It does get the blind though. Truman uh, entries off of it. He's got his back turned, a headshot, but there's still one player under heaven. Truman with the 4K. Trades at the most unlikely of angles on only 30 HP. This is the star player of Wichita State. This is the reason they have been so dominant thus far. And Truman comes up absolutely clutch. If we can slow down this dash out and this cloud burst here going into this retake. See that cloud oh, burst go down? The dash on. come through. They read that Truman's dashing down into hell. And Truman is all the way wide on it instead because he does put that cloud burst down first. So a little bit of misdirection play coming through from the jet to entry them into the retake. He's able to clean up business. He said, sometimes, man, you just got to be the bait in that scenario. And, uh... As long as your teammates are able to come through, get the trade, it don't really matter. So they get the round, at the 2-4 scoreline, they hold on to that eco. Now into the next we go. That's ridiculous. That is. Scout destroyed. And I, I, I wish I could see from his point of view how he actually got that last kill because I didn't even think you could you could kill a player under under heaven with a uh, you know while while playing at the angle he was at, but it must have been something ridiculous. Truman kind of known for hitting ridiculous shots over this series so far, though. I think back to Fracture when he quick flicked through the window to help them secure one of the final rounds. This guy is a menace. Just playing for presence right now as four players strong could just burst onto this C site. Luckily, there is two players here. Cover going on. Jet did shoot out the, the dart as well. If they try and push onto this, Kaba may just get himself the lineup of his life. He's got one. He's got two. A third one right around the corner. There it is. Kaba gets three. Just what the doctor ordered. Tien, though, he has a flank here. This could left. be nuclear. How much does Tien get here? He sees one. He's got two. The third one right around the corner. This is ridiculous. Heroics Great all picture. around. The third player is so far away. Back and forth they go. Everyone swinging for the fences. 12 seconds left on the round. They will get the bomb plant down safely. Tyson, though, could be anywhere. There's three different paths and only two members. So one of these angles has to go unwatched. The question is, does Tyson realize that they're... He's gone undetected. There's two lined up right there, but Ian is just too quick on the adjustment. The dash to safety. If this was post-jet nerf, he might not have been able to do that. Luckily for him, mm -hmm. playing right before the update. Spike down. That team repeat to come through early, try to help the Kaba. Allows him the space for TN2 to come step into this scenario, able to grab himself too. That makes that round possible. Ian will come through as that player towards sight is looking back on the flank. Allows for Ian to grab it from long. A beautiful one on two pincher for them there. And then the time that you're able to come around as that last player. They're already segmented. They're already set up. They're already ready to go. And you have to play into their own hold. And the hold is clean. They cover every bit of the site they need to. That's a whole lot of utility. And they let Tien kind of just go onto the site alone there. That could have been bad, but... I mean, when Tien hits all his shots, then I guess you can uh, just let it happen. Oh, a risky peek there from the Sova, but Truman can't connect the shots for once. For once, Truman is not just doming everyone in sight. It's a blessing. Everyone kind of pinched in onto the site here. Getting cla kind of claustrophobic, but... With the man advantage, Ball State can really just play off of each other. They're ready for the trades. So to the work with here. We're gonna get the TP into the dark cover. Fries, you picked up all across the board. You have only the trade one for he's now taking out Truman. Gets one, able to come back for the dink, but only a 78 damage shot. As Jake Corn will keep on living, keep on kicking. Six two for Ball State. Two rifles drop, but when you're a team that's won so many rounds, the eco isn't too big of a concern, so they'll be good to go. You guys gonna come through into this round and still get free con damage here. Still gonna get anything done for the defensive side of things on the retake, and they get they, they get two, so they get they get something. First knife landed. That could have really been scary. Yeah. Truman flicked and got a headshot with the with the classic. If he had knives up and got the reset on that first kill, that's another. You want to play? I mean, that could have the bodies could have piled up very fast there. I like this. Jeem shoots the uh, shoots the dart out. I don't know if they actually heard Pizzasaurus sneak into this corner here. 
But if he baits for him hard enough... Oh, Truman tries to push up long, but Ian is just so aware, so present. Pizza Source as well, Jaycorn. He's wiser to it. These guys are just... Really making sure... Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, I, think he walks I, was, away. I was about to say they, they know everything that's going on, but maybe not everything. He walks away, but he uh, just cuts noise. They have to come back and grab two. Team, can hold up maybe not everything! Jeeb well. gets three! Stars put the push up C long. It ends with a hold over towards A link as Jeem's able to hold his ground there. Lines him up and it's the fancy difference. Baby Vandal's not getting that spray down. They keep peeking that 1v1. Jeem keeps taking the shots. Heeson walks out. That's the start of the round. And then Jeem grabs things up. Takes the first, second, trying to redirect to come through. Probably wow. Nice for Parker, but Jeem, uh, shot's a little bit nicer. Even, even in slow motion, that still looks so difficult to do. Controlling the spray for the first two and then resetting for the headshot for the third. I mean, ay, ay, ay. this Jeem guy, he is uh, constructed rather alternatively. This time around, Pizzasaurus, not afraid, unabashed, goes for the same peak as he did earlier. It works out this time. I love to see that. I love that kind of confidence. Ian now was hoping to creep out long himself, has to just duck into Cubby. A lot of utility actually expended there to try and remove Ian from the situation. Even TP's out. Wow, he gets so much value out of that push. Look how many rotations he even brings over. It's the aftershock out as well. Second dark cover to come up. If you find a frag too, you get everything you could ask wow. for. Ian. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ult's is... a way to get back to the day. Heaven cancels the ult though, comes back. I don't know no, about it. Just get frags that come through on the A side. Two pieces of swords to pick up one. Ian, off of that ult cancel, we'll pick up Kava, but the rest of the teams they've been picked up in the meantime. They long play gets caught out. Thought he had the rotation to come through. The teammates start to push forward. They push into two. They die. We just saw state four to six on that score line. What's happening? So many mind games happening all across <laughs> the map there. <laughs> Maybe if he completes that teleport into heaven, things go differently. I'm not even sure. It's mm. uh, it's it's hard to tell. But a different like, situation where he's playing down because they're so far up long there that they don't even they wouldn't yeah. need a TP anyway. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, so many variables. What a crazy round that was. I do not feel jealous of the observers right now. That is not something I would like to try and keep up with. Shout out to the observers. You gotta have some crazy mechanics if you wanna if you wanna try and do that job. Shock bolt to break that trade. Oh, Pizza Source right around the corner. Headshot through the wall. And that's the knives down as well. Very important because Jets, caught you never four. know when they can single handedly win you around. That all caught three outside of garage, didn't catch Ian under window. So he's able to save the entire team from what could have been despair. Oh, oh my god. He's so close uh, to getting one. That nothing. was a lot of damage. A lot of valuable damage being done. And now he tries to hop through window. Truman just goes Ferrari peeking. 2 HP on Swooty. This Battle retake could be everything. The wolf doesn't really see much aside from the single player trying to evacuate the site. Ian, this is an all-important duel here. If he wins this, he just buys so much space. He's got a second as well. Ian is doing everything right now. A 4K on the round. Two players left. But this Sova is on extremely treacherous territory. If this first player dies, it can all go awry. Jaycorn, though, not really willing to give him an inch. Instead, it's Ian. Oh. Or, Swooty, I should say. Ian did most of that round. Swooty brings it to a close. 2 HP to being able to avoid the knives and come away with the kill there. A huge pressure off the shoulder. And like you said, that, Saves that, that ult round. is... I mean, that's pretty unlucky too. Let's like let's be real here. I'm I'm kind of surprised that actually didn't hit the player under window. Yeah, elevation's weird there, but Ian finding that frag quickly, shutting that whole thing down before GM can get anything cooking, makes that possible for Raw State to be able to take that space to be able to continue their way onto the split. They're gonna come back to Garage and say we just want it. Might as well go win it again. Four four is gonna be popped here for Wichita. It'll be up towards Garage, up towards that gap. Dog's been clearing up towards window. Should see, and it will. Have the information. Flash to come through. Pizza Source back is in this stone angle drone. cold, by the way. The fact that he held that angle. Oh, what an ult. This Sova is insane. 
that's so difficult. Dude, when they're that close to you. Pizzasaurus, though, getting aggressive with his own tour de force. There's a flank coming in. Truman's got two. Truman's got three. Truman's got four. Are you insane, Truman? He is dragging Wichita State across the finish line at times, kicking and screaming. Look at this guy. One, two, three, four. It's like dominoes toppling over. He's so consistent. Hey, oh, like this is the thing of beauty. I hope everyone watching this match is appreciative of what we're seeing here because this that was a thing of beauty we just saw there. This is gonna be we start the second half now. Pistol round. Ball State. Wichita State. Here we go. A quick move towards A-Long here. Let me fight for C long real quick. Owen v Omen. We've seen Ooh. that a couple times this game. Yeah. Omen at this go around. We don't always get to see that Finish. fight come to fruition. Tyson will move right back the other way. And well, there's an advantage to tucking a second player sometimes. The only thing is they didn't tuck anybody towards the back of sight, so they got to come back to get out of it too short. Flash to come in. TN's grabbed one, but they both get fragged back out. So that's a site picked up for Wichita State. It's gonna be the plan to go down for them now to hold on to things. There will be a recon for the Sova. Shockbolt's coming out first. They're looking to go default. They will land there, but they will not connect with any players as we planted for hell instead. Paranoia is still available, but this this angle is kind of awkward. I don't know if he can actually catch anyone like this. Oh, it does. Truman just gets blinded up. Still in the blind. All he needs is a slight outline for the headshot. Truman, stop it. Just stop it. The player goes jumping down. Truman plays with him a little, softens him up, and Pizzasaurus finishes the round strong. This guy's a freak. This guy's an absolute freak of nature. Much, uh, much more chaotic pistol than we've typically gotten. I feel like we've getting very, uh, very controlled pistol rounds for a lot of a lot of this series. And this one just really comes down to I'm taking a one and I'm hoping I win it. And in the end of the day, it ends up just being Wichita winning those ones. They've been that team that's been playing pretty, uh, pretty consolidated pistols, pretty much. All boys running through on the strats. They'll buy Bulldog, they'll buy Phantom, they'll buy Guardian in this round. So they're playing heavy for their bonus. And everybody's going to run down Ooh. grass here. Don't know they're running into straight rifles. Team will find one, two back. That's not too bad. All the rifles should get recovered. You're looking to throw one off of window. Okay, Cabo will pick that one up. So all the rifles are recovered. They get what they need out the round. The two Spectres will fall. That's all good. They can buy forward off of those if they'd like to. Because they got enough value going into this one. Just a little clean rundown. They're going to run down grass. Get this round over with quickly. They want to do econ damage. They get two. Not too big of a deal if you're Wichita State. Yeah, I mean, seven to seven, still neck and neck. This is kind of been a kind of more shades of the first map, definitely. Fracture going very deep in the round score before anyone brings it home, and nice little cheeky dart there. Good Silva lineup. Gets you a lot of information on the A split. Instead, right up B they go. They get a very early plant too. No one even there. They have full utility to protect this bomb, by the way. Yes, there's gonna be a smoke to kinda to kinda siphon off some of the, the, the vision lines, but I mean it's not like they have a stage. They don't have anything that can really block it. Tian gets flashed up. Tian gets taken down. Parker does trade back with one. Truman, the all-important carry, has been uh, has been silenced here. So how much can the team do without their star player to work with? One enemy Ooh. Ooh, apparently. Wow. That was... Uh, uh, hello? Okay, don't kill two. Don't kill two. Oh. Uh, okay, Aftershock kills two. That's a little bit unfortunate. Those two rifles not moving forward out of this round. But hey, still, they still get it. So, all good. All good. Yeah, I mean, they, didn't, they weren't really that crunched for time there. They could have just gotten off the bomb. But One enemy Parker... I mean, I wish I could have seen that from him, his perspective. Just a ra it, it almost felt like it was a random 4K. Like you cannot, you can't, you can't. In a game like Valorant, I know a lot of people like to blame the observers for anything that isn't caught on camera. But you just have sometimes the most like insanely random 4Ks that seemingly come out of nowhere. Parker just That's plows through and nice. just starts murdering people. Tianpa's Blaze Storm, and they've got a Spectre into this round. Those two rifles would have been nice. 
That makes it interesting for the economy. It makes it so that Ball State can't really safely solidify rebuy. I don't believe. Can you tap just real quick for this contract? All right, it's close. It's close. Thank you. We'll see. They should be able to get a rebuy. Uh, it just depends on if they can get these guns out or not. It's still not as confident as they'd like it to be, but might be plausible. Might be plausible for certain. Just uh, play carefully. Try to keep the guns alive this go around, boys. Eh? Defeated. Nice little swing there. It's a good start. Kaba isolated. I mean, you can't really be standing out in the open like that with that much team support. There's just too many angles you can get peeked from. It's too difficult to kind of just one man that here it's getting on 10 HP as well that's important to note 4v5 bombs could go down ball state gets a pretty decent post plant to work with as well the question is do they see this jet on the flank pizza Saurus now creeping in garage they're gonna see Ian he's still on his smokes He's not, he actually has no idea the danger he's in. Now tease him with the late lurk. He's gonna get one. Pizza Saurus chimes in with one of his own. The Rolling Thunder is out, Beautiful. hits everyone, and Truman's just setting up a firing gallery, but he can't land the shots. It goes awry. Instead, though, the rest of the collapse is here. You don't have to all put the weight on the shoulders of Truman because everyone else on Wichita State is fantastic. Yeah, so much space for Wichita State there, and they use it to perfection, allows themselves to get set up for that post plant situation. Just roll through that rolling thunder they absolutely just clown on everybody it's not as often that you're able to get that position to get all the way back not just into your garage be able to swing all the way through ct just because as you get later into that round everybody's coming through ct to swing towards site it's use that space is utilized perfectly for gm they hold that space for so long this thing on you take you almost always want to send somebody to garage just to make sure that's not possible since nobody does which does they'd have all that avenue to work with and they use it to perfection i mean if you're going to have the space no reason not to use it Ooh, Ian. Oh, just slightly under on the on the uh, pre-aim there. Very close to getting a headshot. As Parker elevates himself right over the smoke. A collateral with the Tour de Force. So much value. And Tour de, I, Tour de Force is like one of those olds where, yes, it's just like a, sl a, a better operator. But it just feels like you can just have such a ridiculous impact on a round with that in your hands. Trap has been spotted in the garage. Tyson's going to get a look at the player playing the close angle as well. And with the trap taken out, that's control of garage established. I pull rotate. You see the, these players walking up A long. Oh, double flank though. They go for the B right now. They could be exposed here. This trademark not activated is to be the cloud burst oh. to get over it. Taking a long time though. It's still going to spot. You can walk into A here because you know the, the A player's left. Because that trademark... Tin, like, it's, Tien said, bro, I, I smoked it for us. Walk across. One walks across. The other sits there for just a little bit too long. So they get spotted anyway. So you see Wichita State. They go, okay, let's go into the A site then if it's going to be open. Because we know that you, you walked away to go try to flank us instead. So they, they use that information wisely to take the space. They could pop Twitter Force here if they wanted to to work with in terms of A long. tc has got the space all the way up towards CT. Flash will come through as info. Swing. Oh. Able to get away with Parker. Oh, man. Not getting that kill is actually just so the chamber huge. Site. Yeah, they only really hard for the CC site. pick. He still gets the headshot though. Oh, it all there comes in. Wow. Ridiculous. Ball State just outmaneuvers Wichita there. Fantastic shot calling. That's a great mid round. And then just, of course, the shots in the end. It really looked to be done and dusted off the back of that collateral. And. Excuse me, uh, Wichita State outmaneuvering Ball yeah. State. I had it backwards there, but that that round, I mean, it looked to be over at the at the beginning. Looked to be dead dead on arrival, but just fantastic mid round shot calling uh, off of like you said. Uh, uh, glad you pointed out the chamber trap. Um, and yeah, just info being gathered there and just using it to perfection. It's just it's a beautiful thing to see. Probably gonna come down here towards short. The operator gonna move away. Clear, shot actually, by one. It. No one found the op yet, though. Yeah, cru that's crucial. Being able to escape the uh, the puppy running at you. Ooh, drawn the info on mid window either. So almost gonna take the space and gonna get swung because of it. Wow. Chambers there. Timing has been crazy on this round because Pizza Source is just not enough in his, in his FOB to see Ian. So Ian's able to walk up and take that one away. 
that came down to the initial drone that gives Ian that space. And then just the FOV not quite there, not far enough into the window to see him on his way down. So he just gets there off of a niche amount of timing. The Seeker going to get them into the A site. That's going to be the fake coming through right now. It's trying to take C long instead. The Chamber hasn't moved a muscle on the recognized, so they'll actually head away and try to play off the A site space that they have gotten. They've been on A so long now that Ball State's read is, okay, they're obviously rotating and, and faking us, right, to go C because our Chamber got contact. They've been there for like 20 seconds, still no plant. I got a dog back. Wait a minute. They, they are A. They just, that spike took forever to get here. And now you'll see them set up for a retake. And by the way, Jeem actually swung the operator there and ki and killed the opper. That's... That's insanity. We can out caught nothing. Paranoia out for both sides. Much more to paranoia here for the post plant side of things. Jeem will pick up a three-piece, two onto this retake, and Cabo will swing around to finish the job 10 to 8. Wichita State. Paranoid timing is beautiful. Three try to funnel their way towards CT, and they are seeing absolutely nothing. That's for a very easy crossfire. BSU, they said, our lead it has suddenly vanished. They'll take a timeout here to try to relinquish because uh, Wichita State finding their groove. And we know how deadly they are in their groove. Right now up 2-0. They're on that series point. They're trying to take grand finals here, and can't let that happen if you're Ball State. Yeah, and while Ian Ian has quietly crept up to be the leader for Ball State University on this map, it almost feels like his um his aggression has has netted them a few advantages that just can't be held on to. Wichita State. The thing about Wichita State is it feels like really anyone on the team can randomly pop off and just win you around. It felt like it was Jeem there taking out the operator at such a huge disadvantage. I mean, if you're if an angle is being held by an operator, you just assume. If you're on ball state, that, that angle is locked down for at least one. But Jeem just throws a monkey wrench in the plans. They pop the Seekers and get full a site control established off the back of it. What does the conversation look like right now if you're, uh, if you're ball state? Your money is rather tough. Or... Light armor all around. Sheriffs. Hopefully they can cook up some kind of strategy here. That timeout, obviously, to talk things over. See what you want to do when you only have... Okay. I don't think that was gone over Call in the, the jiggle. Unfortunate. It's a nice shot from Decent to come through. Half of it through the box as well. They've got the site plant going to go down. Wichita State. Ball State just looking to do a little bit of damage into this round. Get Whoa. themselves a little bit of extra money from kills. Pizza Sora is going to be caught towards spawn. His trademark will go down. He's in a 1v2. 1v3 coming through in a minute. As Ian will sneak through grass to take that one away. That's a gun to be picked up for this team. Truman going to come through with oh, the that kill. gun. Timing not going to be in his favor. Will Cloud Burst and get himself away? They're going to drone. They're going to look to play this one. Because they know that's the second rifle. And it's so early in the retake. There's actually a chance they can convert this round too. Truman going to sneak back even further. Shots to come through garage. Parker to pick up one, okay. and there's four guns to be taken over. That's two guns picked up now. Kaba to take one back towards CT. Both players are going to be towards long, and they know about it as well. Paranoid to come oh, through nice earlier. What one last go around. Swoody not going to get caught by that blind, but time definitely going to catch this team up. There's just no time. Jim will catch it from the back of the side as well. Three piece to be had for the breach. The final two kills in their favor. 11-8 for Wichita State. They get both guns out the round as well. Ball State now able to rebuy. We get to see what that timeout really went for. So they've got the utility back in their favor. They'll pick up an op. So that we haven't seen them do this half. That could be the difference. We see them play Tour de Force. Haven't seen them play the actual operator. We'll see remaining. where they put that. If they can find the value off of it. So we just State's bid round adaptation. It's been pretty dang solid. And if they can snuff out that op early. Or at least just see the op's presence early. I have no doubt that the IGL for the squad will be able to call them away from where that operator is. But we'll see if they know about it. Because team's going to take it all the way down mid early. Very intelligent play there from Wichita oh, State as well. No. Just so intelligent. Parker now forced to teleport away. That's a long TP as well. They just evacuate the site. They give it over. Jaycorn is able to trade back one, but not before Pizzasaurus chimes in yet again to remove the top fragger off the side of Ball State. They may have overthought this, though. They don't actually push out onto A. They double back. Either way, Wichita State, they're the type of team to... to just really play cautious and to really uh, make sure that they're giving themselves the best chance, the best opportunity of victory. So the possibility of walking into a stack on A there just kind of dissuades them a little bit. That being said, though, such intelligent play from Wichita State so far this game. I mean, really, really high praise for that. Jeem 
takes the trap out garage. No one was there, fake. of course, just A's because. Type. Yep. And he sells the fake too. He, I, I didn't even realize this was a fake until you pointed out the A site lurk. That's. I mean, they're just one step ahead every time. Oh, the Hunter's Fury though. Tags one, nearly kills him That's off. Away. One enemy remaining. Oh, Tease him will catch the lurks, rotator man. early. It's just... It's just so pretty, man. It's so pretty. 1v2, the way they play these. I found to go towards heaven. Kaba already TP'd up there as the omen player. He's got the shrouded step to make it happen. We'll catch him on the staircase. So he'll be caught out. 12 8 match point, series point, grand finals point, conference point. Wichita State. CECC Atlanta bid point for Wichita State. Who yet again just have the adaptation and have the read. TN's the big factor into that round. He's got the big guns, the operator in his hands. He takes it down garage door. Just tunnel vision's a little bit too hard towards window. Gets caught by Pizzasaurus, who's that lurk, that chamber player sitting grass, looking for anyone coming out of door. TN peeks out a little bit too you far. Just to gets caught in the Let's scope. Play. Falls away from the FOV that he just can't quite see. The operator's gone early. A lot less control for that team. You have to adjust, send a player over towards B. It means less defense is A and makes things more difficult. This go around, TN will take the smokes out early, though. The controller of Cobb is gone. We should all stay have to work off their flashes instead. They like that early. They've also got all this A lobby space. Yeah, good start to the round for Ball State. Although very low HP on the sky right now. Five to be exact. J Corn is. May just use his ultimate now. To try and get it off before he before he goes down, possibly. And this is a disgusting crossfire right here between Ian and Swooty. Everybody's on idea? such close contact. They've got a lot of space here in terms of map control for Ball State, but they're all on very close contact. Oh my, the tension right now. Palpable. They're waiting to get back onto this A site and... I'm looking directly at Ian right now to be the the, the catalyst here. As soon as Swooty Marcus takes contact, left. all about these trades. If these trades come through, it's a nightmare. What? They're not even able to find no. one. Neither player finds one. Park will pick up one of the B site, but that's it. So he stopped the breach ultimate, but that is all he stopped. Plant's gonna go down almost guaranteed. They do have those seeks to play back in from that sky. Is five HP. So the Seekers are pretty much the only value they're going to bring into this round. Team of the other Gobble Frag early, same with Parker. they got to find more going into this one, though. Seekers now out. They come through CT. Pizza Store has picked up one with the Tour de Force in hand. Second swing to come through. Parker is stuck in that slow field. It is the benefit of having that upgraded operator. Team will find one back. Dash up short, trying to pull presence away, trying to pull viewing away. The step forward with the Cloud Burst. Looking for swing for one. The second oh. to come through as well. A 4K for the Jet. The early round first pick and the comeback through down short as well. Not just to find the short player, but everybody else to go with it. Sends his teammate out of CT. Says, please, brother, come through. I got you from short. I promise I have the trade and did indeed. Oh, man. Watching that crossfire back just fall apart is painful. So saying that close contact, while you got the positioning, it's so scary. Because if anything goes wrong, it's lights out. It's danger. You see three start to swing towards short. You say, I got to help my teammate here. It puts you in a situation where you're not quite ready to shoot yet. Sweetie wasn't quite ready for all that swing to come through. And there's, a, there's times where even if two players are peeking you, here. you think, what player am I supposed to shoot right now? You end up shooting in the middle. And that's the kind of situation we get from Sweetie. No one's able to really trade that one back out for him. because They're just not ready for the numbers, for the density that's going to come through. And the close contact just ends up being their downfall. Win the yeah, round, absolutely. though, so all good. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes you just get so caught up in trying to help your teammate. I believe they heard that teleport, by the way. You could see an immediate change in their posture the moment they hear that go off. And so, oh, one player behind the barrel. He is just getting pieced up right now. They're pushing every extremity on the side of Ball State. They can't overheat, though. They have to be cautious about giving up their advantage. It's pretty even trades all around. Omen does TP himself out. Great discipline play now. Tyson's getting clapped on from all different sides, though. The bomb is down. He's got two headshots. A third from Kaba. There's only one more to find. And just like that, while Ball State gets off to a rip-roar and start, they find themselves completely isolated now. It's all up to Jaycorn. He's having such difficulties doing it. He's just going to hold it for now. But look at the lineups. They can't make it happen. Tyson with the 4K. And Ball State, as quick as the advantage came, it vanished. Wichita State are your ECAC champions. They looked fantastic. They 3-0 to continue the trend. We see it everywhere, whether it be international, domestic, or in another Riot title. It's a 3-0.
And in the end, Wichita State, the number one seed predicted to win this season, makes good on the odds, makes good on the bookies. Everyone looks intelligent here that bet on them. And all Wichita State fans can rejoice in the chat because they are your champions and they're heading to land, baby. That they are, and what a phenomenal way to do it as well. A dominant series coming through for them. And in the instances where we do see Ball State start to rise back up into things, Wichita State just look like they have the answers, they have the reads. I don't know who's the coach over there, but I'll pay lots of money for their strap book because they definitely just had things to go. And if, if it was a situation where they feel strats aren't working, they switch things up, and suddenly, what do you know, they're working yet again. Ball State, they try to change things up on the defensive just a little bit. We see a timeout come through from them. The only real difference for them in terms of setup, they move their jet away from A, they move it over towards garage instead. They put an op in the hands as well. They try to stop that early grass control. We saw consistently come through from Wichita, but they get caught looking window. They get caught by Pizzasaurus from grass and then from there there's just nothing to be found there's no confidence for the player anymore they have a great 4k to come back into things to hold down that a site retake but i mean it's just snuffed out right back again and we just all stay just look so strong yeah strong as ever and we actually have a highlight reel of Jeem. Jeem having a fantastic series for himself specifically map two which was an absolute clinic from a soba player as we see the run through double spray down on the nico collect them up and this is the map that really Jean made all the difference, single-handedly turning so many rounds, especially this one. He's got one, he's got two. Look how crisp this third one is. He had no business getting that kill, and instead, he's not done just yet. Low HP, he finds his ace. And even on the map three, where you saw, where you saw oftentimes him taking more of a backseat playing the utility, he still had such high impact frags. And this is what you need to be a championship level team. Everyone coming together here, and they just make it they just they just make it look beautiful yeah that they do Jim, a player that doesn't matter if they're on the initiator doesn't matter from the breach doesn't matter if they're on the solve but doesn't matter if they're on the neon and fracture they're finding value they're getting the team in they're making the openings happen not just on that duelist neon roll to send them forward but as well on the initiator to have that support frag opportunity and we're gonna do our very best to Jim here on the desk to hear from them if it's not Jim, it's somebody from wichita state who i'm sure is enthralled to be those finals champions so when we come back from break we have to hear from them don't go anywhere sounds amazing the hyperx cloud 2 wireless legendary comfort goes wireless Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. 
I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got two bit. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Oof, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. That is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying to live. Oh my God, it's real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, it's real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to. Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. 
What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Luis, my brother, I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are here at the ECAC Championship Series. Joining us today is going to be Gene from Wichita State after a fantastic series that culminated in a 3-0. Several very close maps. We see the entire squad here. You don't just get Gene. You just get Gene and the boys. How you doing, Gene? I'm doing well. <laughs> Man, that was a fantastic series. The first thing I wanted to ask you was that second map, Breeze. You guys look so dominant on it, and specifically you, a ridiculous scoreline. I think you had like a 10-point-something KDA looking back on it, and it, it wasn't even your map pick. It was it was their map pick. It looked to be a lot easier for you guys. Was Breeze something you kind of expected to win that hard? Do you think they played right into your hands, or was it more of a happy surprise you guys just showed up? Uh, to be honest, we didn't expect to play Breeze until map 5, but we did not get there, so... No, yeah, yeah. Definitely that's, a, that's a pretty nice uh, problem to have, <laughs> not having to go game five because you're too busy stomping out everyone. Cat, you got anything for us? Oh, first and foremost, look, we we know you guys were confident in the server. How you already got the trophy? <laughs> like that's a, a little too confident. You already got the, <laughs> how you already got the? Is that last season? What trophy is that? Smash Fall 2021. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. I was going to say, like, listen, I don't know how fast it's same day shipping because that thing already there, but I got you, I got you, I got you. So, as you guys, I mean, just looked good all the way through going in. And you said you didn't expect to see Breeze until the end of the series. An interesting set list. Fracture Breeze, first two maps. Like, what what went down? How did, how did it go that way? Uh, To be honest, we got into the day and we were like, Cause like we <laughs> we scrim fracture once and we haven't played an official match on fracture. But we're like, okay. who wants to play fracture? I was like, I kind of want to play neon. So we just picked fracture and it, it was pretty fun. So. It worked. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah I actually like wanted to uh, kind of go off of that. Uh, you said you wanted to play the neon, and uh, after watching a lot of uh, this Masters tournament, we saw Optic bring out the neon a lot. Was that something you pulled directly from the strats you saw at Masters? Or was it something you guys kind of had cooking beforehand and it was kind of just uh, it was kind of just confirmed your suspicions that the pick was good on the map? I definitely just copied a lot of things Victor did because his neon is literally like it's 1v9. Cracked. He literally yeah, just yeah, solo yeah. wins games. Yeah, I, 
I watched those games at Masters, and I instantly copied his sense in his mouse. And I, I, I completely understand that. <laughs> um, and I had, I had one more question for you. Uh, when it comes to the maps, we saw you over three maps play three different agents, three different roles. Is this something that you're we can expect to see you on a regular basis? Do you even have a set role on the team, or do you just have a pick that you enjoy playing on each map, and you just pivot accordingly? Um, originally, I was playing Smokes this semester just because like no one wanted to play Astra. And after that, I just started playing random agents. <laughs> so it just depends on the day. I think for Haven, we've never played Breach. But today I was like, mm, I guess we can try Breach. And you know, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you, you, you seem to be giving me a lot of... I, I expected a lot of these answers to be like, yeah, we had this all prepped beforehand. <laughs> we, had, we were 200 IQ going into this. Our coach drew it all up. Instead, it's more like, yeah, it kind of felt like it. You know, it's, it's the vibes. I respect yeah. it. Go where the vibes take you. Cat, you got anything for us? G Mar who, who's the IGO? I am. Okay, okay. I was gonna say like <laughs> I was gonna say with pass the headset off to who the IGL is, but I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised. The mid round adaptation I felt so phenomenal. How much mm. experience do you have IGLing? Like, is this something you're in just because you have to be? Because it, it looked very seasoned. Like a lot of mid round plays, especially on Haven, the ability to get that space B site, get that space consistently grass, and then say, okay, well if they're coming up a long, we'll go towards a site like. How how seasoned of you are you as an IGL? Well, originally I IGL'd in League, and then I saw to Valorant, and then I was just IGL ever since. So <laughs> this man's a League of Legends no, this IGL. Guy's magical. I have me? my I have my challenger jacket. No, <laughs> Wait, no, no shot. No. Yeah, you went from challenger <laughs> League of shot caller yeah. to Valorant. Yeah, man, someone keep this man away from a keyboard and mouse. He's terrorizing every game he touches. <laughs> But yeah, I, I GL'd in League for like a semester, but I also played like semester. random tournaments where I, I GL'd okay. for collegiate. I have one question to ask That's off of game. that. How much League of Legends do you still touch on a regular basis, or are you just completely done with the game? You've moved on to greener <laughs> pastures. Uh, I still play. To be honest. Just casually. I just play Norms, <laughs> so. Rank kind of not very fun. Oh yeah, I mean, if you want to have good mental for your Valorant games, I I can absolutely recommend staying away from the League of Legends. No, I I respect that. Cat, do you have anything? Have anything else for us? All right, Jim. First seed, first place. That's gotta feel good. You knew what's happening coming into the off season. You ran through it. Who do you want to shout out? Where's the love at? Where's it going? Oh, shout out to my girlfriend. I don't even know if she's watching, but shout out to my girlfriend. And whoever <laughs> these people are in the back. <laughs> <laughs> not these people yeah whoever they are yeah <laughs> they could really be anyone right just uh yeah so just, the uh, homies, just, the they might have wandered in there into frame but uh yeah i do i really appreciate you joining us for this interview gene is there any final thoughts you want to leave us off here before we're off the broadcast for the day uh thanks to all our fans i know we have a lot of people watching us and supporting us and it it really does mean a lot and it gives us a lot of confidence and momentum so Oh yeah. Love to hear oh, it. Yeah. Love to hear it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for providing us a great series. Wichita State, ladies and gentlemen, your number one seed, your first place going into the tournament. And with that, you guys qualify for the land in Atlanta. Good luck to you boys. Fantastic season. And we hope to see you guys back again. Thank you so much. Thank you. And with that, that will be concluding it for us today. Thank you so much for everyone. Okay, I'm not just crazy. I'm not just crazy. Uh, Tristan, uh, his microphone has deleted itself. But uh, just like we're going to de delete ourselves from the broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, a 3-0 Wichita State deleted Ball State going forward here. And Gene, what a nice guy. They already got the trophy from Smash. Now to come win in Valorant. You love to see it. Absolutely phenomenal. Showing a phenomenal series and a phenomenal day from us. But it is not the only phenomenal day you get to see. As tomorrow is Rocket League Overwatch coming through as well. The grand finals kicking off for those games as well. Same place, same time. 8 Eastern here on Twitch.tv slash ECAC Esports. Tristan, you know, go ahead and give, give him a wave. I know you, you can't talk right now, but no worries there. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you next time.
y'all think too small. I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind and the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. On my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on Shamu. That mean I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy.